The following program is intended for mature audiences. In this week's episode of The Truth Be Told... What the fuck? Really? It's the 100th episode? No, no, it's it's one year. Oh, oh, one year. It's one year. One year. Oh, shit. And it falls on 69. Go figure. Uh, Well, fuck. I didn't expect this. It's a one year, one, one year episode. Holy shit. Uh... Well, fuck, Todd, you got a bottle. We got, go get a fucking bottle. We need a bottle for this episode. Oh my God. Uh, well, shit, uh, and <laughs> caught me off guard. Uh, on this episode, we're going to talk about it being one year, obviously. Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Finally, we get that. The Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj beef rekindles. We give you a review on SZA and Vic Mensa's album. Dope shit. And are we ready for a KD and LeBron track? And now, Infidel Castro and Barry Ross. You're now listening to the Truth Be Told podcast from Trillmatic.com. Trillmatic.com. Real young man, hold up. we back once again with the Truth Be Told podcast. You know what I'm saying? Hosted Chill. by Trillmatic.com. Can you dig it? Can you dig it, man? Uh fuck. Yeah, we we made it. Nah, <laughs> I feel like you should cue the cue the nigga. We made an instrument. I'm gonna cue it. Yeah, yeah, nigga. We made it. We fucking made it. We made it. We did it. Right. Uh, Achievement reached. Achievement unlocked. Yeah, achievement unlocked. Trophy unlocked. I, I got some. Yeah, we got some EXP points, baby. Made it. You know what I'm saying? We hit the one year mark, baby. Cheers. Uno año. We put a little we audience, it. little audience back here right now. The audience clapping. That's right. That's right, niggas. We made it. Okay, we made it to the one year Celebrate. mark. Celebrate. Clap it up with us. One year with the Truth Be Told podcast. And pat yourself on the back. That's for, right. Uh, being down with it. I want to know who, it, let me tell you something. If y'all been here since day one and you listen to every single episode that we drive. Comment. Say something. Because I know that there's some people that's engage. like, there's got to be at least five people. Yeah, engage. That, that have been here since day one. There's got to be. There has to be. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't know where you're at. If, if you're in the Russian that's Federation. Horrible. If you're in. Wherever you're at. Fucking Zimbabwe. I'm down. Like, Spain, eat them. You know what I'm saying? In South America, wherever the hell you are. It doesn't right. matter. Mars. I don't care. We appreciate it. Yeah, we and appreciate we, it, and we and we kind of want like people who've been there. I kind of I, I want to hear from you. I like, want to hear from y'all too. I want to know what your thoughts on how we've done this whole right. this, this past year, you know, in the yeah. development of where we where we've been and where we're at now. You know what I'm saying? We've we've gone we've had some ups and downs. Definitely, we've had some we've, we've gone in different directions. Trials and tribulations. Trials bro. and tribulations. We've um yes, we 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 we've been pretty consistent. We've been like 98% consistent. We missed that one week when I fucked yeah. up and thought the podcast was recording. It wasn't recording. recording. Yeah. Yeah, that, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a funny moment. Yeah, we missed one fucked week. Fucked up funny moment. It was a fucked up funny moment. You know what I'm saying? But we took it as a little vacation. Did, did, we, did we miss an episode one time? Or we just, yeah, we had postponed episodes a few times. A few but we still came out with them. We didn't come out with them. Yeah, we, we were still yeah, pretty consistent once a week. So, uh, shout out, shout out, shout out to us. Shout out to us. And shout out to you. <laughs> You, uh, you, you, the listener. Right. Shout out to us, you know. Yeah. And on that note, you know, what better way to celebrate with the <laughs> popping bottles, shaking it up a little Hennessy. bit. Hennessy. You know yeah, we about to take a shot for y'all, man. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? saying it's a celebration, it's a bitches. Celebration, man. Just pull, pull that up, pull that pull up, up, pull that pull up. It up. Shot, 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 shot. I'm doing that shit all off beat. Way off beat. Yeah. That's all right, bro. Here, pull, pull, pull yourself pull up. Pull my shit up. You know what I'm saying? We forgot to let me tell you something. You know, how you, you know how you know when somebody from the hood when they put their Hennessy in the refrigerator or the freezer. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep it cold, bro. Keep it cold. I don't want my shit hot. Yeah, yeah. You're not from the hood if your uh, if your Hennessy is warm room it's temperature. Like, it's, it's like keeping it on the rocks, bro. Right. See, they don't know. They don't, they don't, know. Know. They don't even know what the rocks. Are. They don't know what are the rocks. They don't. Rocks? They don't know about nah. our brown and black struggle because nah, we didn't have ice. Nah. We didn't have nice. the rocks to put them on. Nope. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Did not. So we got to keep it in the freezer, baby. The freezer. Or we got to go buy a bag of ice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we don't got automatic ice cubes. You know? we don't got- <laughs> and if it's not cold, 
before we drink it, we right. get it cold. That's right. 100. 100. 100. Let's take the no. shot, man. Shout, shout out, shout out, shout out to Truth Be Told Podcast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's right. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right, baby. One year mark. And you know what the next, the next one is? 100 episodes. That's yeah. right around the corner, baby. Right around, right around the corner. Right around the corner. What is this? This is the episode, uh, the six, is this 69? 69 boys. It's 69 boys in the house. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all don't even know who the sixty nine boys are, go do it. Go do it. Go do a search for sixty nine boys. You little fuckers. Was it with a Z or it was with an S? Right? It was no, it was my fucking Z. Z. It yeah, was man. Back yeah. in the day, you know yeah, they, they put it with the boys. Yeah. I did have. I had the a few, boys I had in the hood. Their, I had a few of their albums, bro. What was their biggest hit? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what was it? They're, they're, you know they're gonna go down to hip hop hall of fame. Oh, they got. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Style. Yeah, yeah. All right. The, the booty shaking movement. That's Yo, that was get on down to. Tootsie Roll? Is that no. that shit? But was it that them? Boys? Tootsie Roll? Was it them? God, can't sweet it roll. It might have been. Let me see the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> we're going to have our guys We're gonna have our guys search it up first. Real That's quick. right. Todd, search that up for us. Appreciate but, it, Todd. Yes, man. So, shout out to y'all, man. We appreciate y'all. Subscribe to the podcast. iTunes, Google Play. Um, tune in. Tootsie Roll. They're definitely Tootsie, Tootsie Roll. That's what I'm saying. Todd, see, Todd, it. Thanks, Todd. Point. Todd hey, Todd. He he's Googling quick. He's quick. quick. Quick, man. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate I'm you, Todd. Got, I'm glad we got him. That's right. Kitty, kitty. Remember that? Hey, kitty, kitty. Hey, right. kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, Daisy Dukes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, old rap music was so raunchy back then, yeah. bro. Yeah, you know, you know what they're talking. Oh, about. Oh yeah, you know. Listen, some of your mothers was getting down twerking to this shit. Yeah, and, right. And, got yeah. pregnant. Yeah, your ass is here because of the '69 boys. Yeah, you know what I'm saying not in a good way either. Not a good way. You were a busted baby. <laughs> 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 yeah, you were a club baby, right? You were a product of the club. We just, we just got finished watching the finals. Uh, the Golden State Warriors is now on top of the food chain. <laughs> per se, you know they they won. They took it, man. They took it. They got the championship. They nah, won. Nah. I know you're upset. Cause it, I don't I have no KD. respect for KD. Bro. I know you hate KD. I don't have no. Right. I don't listen. I don't hate KD. I think KD is a talented player. I think he's a great player. You just don't like how he did it. I just don't like the fact that he's like wallowing in this win. Like he's like, yeah, yeah, I did this. You know, what he what does oh, if you can't beat him, join him. Which is some sucky shit, bro. It's some sucky <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he's a UT alumni, bro. Got to go. Got to ride with the UT. Take you don't have to ride with I'm his mother. With him. You don't have. With, I liked him ever since he came into the league. I honestly, you liked him ever first, since he when, since he, he never he, brushed his hair when he. <laughs> When he first came into the league, and I and I saw the potential, I knew when he was with U, he was UT already, so I already was peeping this game, right. and I already knew how, what what was going to happen when he came to the NBA. I wanted him to be on the Lakers. Obviously, that was going to happen, but knowing Kobe was at the end of his career, I was looking for that next player, right, to kind of be the one that I like. Even and it wasn't on my LeBron. Team. Oh, I like LeBron too, but he wasn't the player. He's not the player. He because he he, 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 he 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 and you know what. KD uh, worked against being the player also. I'm kind of probably in that limbo of searching because both of them did that shit where they both left and came. Different scenarios, different aspects. One, you know, shitted on his, his home. The other one shitted on his team that was a good team and, just, you know, wasn't his home. But, I mean, they both did shitty shit, you know what I'm saying, on that note. Okay. I, but, I, I can take that. But, so both of them kind of but lost KD's that was number shittier. one. Yeah, but they, they lost that one uh that number one spot on mine, like to be my next player, favorite player. But I like them both. You know what I'm saying? They, LeBron earned my respect back when he went back home. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I liked him when he was with the cast from the get go. I was actually, he was that player. When he was wearing when he rocking left. the headband. And, w- and when he left, that's when he kind of lost it for me. KD was the next one in line. He left the way he did. He lost it for me. So it's like, I'm on that search for that next player that I'm going <clears> to <throat> be like, that's my player right there. I like, no matter right. what team it is. Right. That's the one. I mean, you know the Cavs are gonna bring somebody on. <laughs> oh man, oh, yeah. the Cavs got to bring on Carmelo at this point. They're about to calculate what they need, what they're missing. Right. You know, they got to get rid of some people. They got to get rid of Tristan defense, Thompson, bro. What was that defense? They play some decent defense. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they, yeah. They it's were, just you can't. Trying, you just but you can't stop something. Anybody that's on else? Fire. Anybody else? They probably would have shut the fuck down. You just can't shut down. Golden State. It's like, like Golden State saying. was the was the NBA Jams team that was on fire, <laughs> basically. Nah, Even when Go- they weren't on the Golden fire, State they weren't on fire the whole time, but still, they were that team that's like you can't. It's hard to stop them. Golden State is definitely a creative team. Oh yeah, 
Right. Oh, yeah. That's 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 like your your fifth season on NBA 2K right. when you get to create your own team. Finally, you right. got a team. You're like, oh, we're gonna draft this player. We're gonna right. make trades on your own shit. Right. Right. Yeah, that's what happens. That is like it's basically like a, a all gamer. pro team. Yeah, it's yeah. a gamer making a team, and that's what happens. Fuck out of here. Hey, that was that was that was that was the heat. Also, yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Like teams doing. I, I, it's hard to respect the team that does that. Right. Like it really is. Just like win it with the key, the, the tools you have, not the key, the tools you have. Make the team great, right? You know what I'm saying. Don't go searching for t- other teams that they're all stars. Go right off their fucking because now you're just riding bandwagon, off and you're riding off a whole team completely. Like that right. team might have potential that you could build around that player. Now you take their good player. That team ain't shit, right? So it's like now you just basically put teams in the hole. Right. People are like, well, they don't have a chance, and that's what ends up happening. The only thing that we need that that I, that I could use right now, basketball related, is another episode of the shop that the ESPN put out. Did you watch? I, I, yeah, I thought you were going to say a hug. No, nah, I don't want to fuck a hug. I need a hug. <laughs> no. We lost. <laughs> have, you, have you watched this shit, though? I have not ESPN's seen it. a shot? You got to watch it, man. I need it's, to. It's, it's pretty interesting shit. It, for those of you who don't know, ESPN put out this little 30 minute. Um, I guess it was, may have been on ESPN. I don't have cables on. It might long. It might have been, the, the like, how long has this show been out? Is it new? I don't think it's a show show. I think it was just like a kind of a one a okay. one and done. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. But they did. Yeah, it's yeah. called a shop. They got. It's, it, it's got. People sitting in a barbershop and they're having barbershop talks. Mm-hmm. And you got, the difference is that usually barbershop talks are, are about these people. Yeah. And now they're sitting in the barbershop having barbershop talks, which is pretty interesting. So you got LeBron James in there. You got Draymond Green. You got Two Chains, Steve Stout. Oh, uh, you got, yeah. And they're all in here. It's more people and they're all in here just sitting down there drinking wine. While they're getting a haircut, because that's what you do in a shop. You drink, you drink. I feel like this is a fine wine. Of putting reefer on because I didn't know this. No, yeah, you have to watch this, man. It's okay. it's pretty good for those of you. Know, I'm gonna link it up in the show notes because I did put it on trimac.com. I gotta watch this. I'm gonna link it up in the show notes. You gotta watch. It's pretty interesting shit. You know what I'm saying? One of the most interesting things was LeBron saying how Tom Brady isn't the greatest athlete of all time because people are saying that now. You know what I'm saying? And one of the reasons that he said is he made a good point is that Tom Brady doesn't have to think about both sides of the. Both sides of the game. Yeah, he don't think of defense. He just think about. He doesn't think. He lets the defense do what they do. He might yell at him if they're fucking doing shitty. Come on, get right. it. But he has, he's no to think about it. he has nothing to yeah. do with it. So Whereas it's in basketball, you do have to think about it's in your, your hands, offense, too. defense, offense, mm-hmm. defense. You know what back I'm saying? And, and the back and forth all day. Yeah, he made a good point. That you know is what I'm saying? a very good point. Yeah. Right. So shout out to LeBron for that uh, for that logic. I mean, Brady is a lead on offense. Everyone knows that shit. Like he, yeah, he he's is. over he's overcame like the test of time in a sense, like where you think, okay, they say he's gonna be playing into his mid forties. He says he's gonna be playing into his mid forties. Exactly. Bro. There's no telling what how many fuck? more championships he may get. So I think he might get at LeBron least one on, to two I mean, more before before he's done. LeBron is on to something. He's probably right. This right. dude probably will be like the ultimate athlete. You know what I'm saying of all time, possibly. Yeah. Well, he can't be because LeBron said you don't have you don't have no defensive skills, baby. You don't have muscle like me. <laughs> Play LeBron. defense and we'll see what you're talking That's about. That's true, though, because, I mean, yeah. defense, I mean, that is very true, yeah. I mean, playing one side is a lot simpler than doing that. Right, right. I mean, playing two sides, you got to learn both sides of the right. game. One one thing that we are we are getting is, um, is uh, hopefully if we get it, the guy says he'll do it if, you get, if he gets a million retweets. And it's basically a... a a, a hidden, a hidden song. Oh, between Kevin Durant and KD? LeBron James and King James, right? Rapping KD on a song and King James rapping on a song. Do we really need a KD and King James rap song? Do we? I don't know. I don't. I listen. They, they, he played a little kinda, snippet. Honestly, honestly, believe every once in a while, it's nice to see some of these athletes' other crafts. Like, so I mean. Just because they play basketball doesn't mean that's all they can do and they all they know. Some some people got lyrics. Some people can spit. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be interesting to, to Shaq hear. Shaq has some bars. Is it Shaq? Yeah, he has some bars. He had albums, so I guess he had to have some kind of he bars. He has some bars, man. He got albums. Gotta be Twism for life. Twism. Gotta be Twism. Go look Shaq that up, y'all. Be- hey, look up Shaq Diesel, his yeah. first album. Go look up <laughs> Twism. Because I, I owned it. <laughs> Yeah, Shaq. Shaq was out here getting paid, he bro. Get paid. Shaq was out here doing a movie. Shaq had a video game called Shaq Food. Shazam. You know what I'm saying? Was it the game was called Shaq Food. Yeah, the game. But was his movie Shazam? It was Shazam, yeah. I think he was in Steel, too. Steel, yeah. He was. They had a Steel. <laughs> Yeah, Shaq, hey, Shaq, Shaq was out Shaq here getting paid, things. bro. And now look at him. He's doing commercials left right, and right also. Right. Shaq, I still out here getting money, bro. The general, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Still right. Shout out to no, Shaq. But Iverson had bars. 
Iverson did you you he know what bars. what about Kobe Kobe did Kobe he did have, not have bars bro he had two songs I remember he had two songs there was songs. probably one, two songs one, but one was with, with uh, it was an R&B hit no he had a song with what's her name uh, uh, oh my god her head just popped out popped out of her head fucking model this, America's Next Model fucking oh, Tyra, Tyra Banks. Banks yeah popped in my head right when I said that but yeah Tyra Banks Tyra Banks she, had a song yeah well she wasn't she was just talking on his song kind of saying things like why, well, and then he'd start rapping, and she she'd like, come in and talk and say something. Yo, man, it was a different time back then. Yeah, you know what but, I'm saying? But he was obviously. I mean, he was rhyming. He was on 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 beat. Everything right. he was doing, but his shit was whack. The, you think it, it, shit was whack? Though. The shit was whack. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't like the shit I'd be listening. It was more Will Smith. <laughs> Like, man, don't be hating on your boy. Don't be hating on my boy, the Fresh no, Prince, baby. No, I don't hate on him, but it was more Fresh Prince. That's what I'm saying. It was more edited. It was like he wasn't cussing. He was. That's what I'm saying. I'm not hating on that shit. I mean, you know, he got kids I had looking Will up Smith to him. Albums. Come on, he had kids looking up to him, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, parents artists. just don't understand, bro. <laughs> they don't. No, they don't. The kids are like, but they know how to get about. jiggy with it. <laughs> like, what do you, uh, see? They may know that one. They don't yeah. know that DJ Jazzy Jeff shit too. Yo, man, DJ Jazzy Jeff is still out here, man. He's still out here doing things. Yeah, he, I see. I heard like a little mixtape he produced or whatever. It was pretty yeah. fire, bro. I was like, yo, yeah, shit, fire. Good for that fool, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, man. But shout out to them. But I don't know if we should. I don't know if we know. I don't know if we need a KD. Listen, we we've heard the snippet. We heard the okay. I don't even know if we're gonna play it because who knows? Probably. I don't know if we can. It'll probably get snatched down because you the whole episode. And do you want those whole episodes? Whenever we play, listen, y'all. Whenever we play songs on here. They get demonetized on YouTube. Bro. Movie you know clips, anything. We pl- we played fucking Rich Chigga, okay, in the background, and it was like demonetized. You know what I'm saying? I was like, God get damn, yo. So we're not playing no more fucking songs for y'all. This is from like a fucking Can't even do movie super clip, independent. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we're not we're not playing songs, but we got to play songs of people that are trying to get out there because they're right. gonna be mad at us for doing it. People who are already out, they're gonna be like, Oh, we want money, we want royalties. Right, right. Get, right. The, fuck get the fuck out of here. We're giving uh, you fucking exposure. Uh, Come on. Now, what happens is YouTube Come will on. take the money that you made and give it to them. You know yeah, that's true. YouTube is just niggas. Nah, but stop hating on us. Yeah, nah, but y'all gotta check it out though because. KD, uh, it was, it was like, you heard like two bars from KD and then, and then LeBron comes in for like a quick four bars. Yeah, it's and, real uh, quick KD and I yeah. think KD had a lot more to offer. I really didn't. Those two bars, I feel like KD had better bars than, than Bron Bron. I'm it was like, for real. Honestly, I don't even know. Was it two bars? I think it was like one and a half. On the path I'm on, but put the world on my back, cause I'm that strong. Long journey I've been on from the very start. No way I die off with this iron heart. It's the kid King James. Acting 330. Let's get him. It was like two bars. It was, it was like was two, it bars. two bars. Yeah, it was like two bars. I, I honestly <laughs> think that he was bringing it more than LeBron. LeBron was just like, oh, yeah. I'm iron. I'm right. good. I'm big. He said I'm iron. I'll put iron everything hearted. on my back. Yeah. Cause I'm strong. <laughs> Hulk smash. I expected more from LeBron. I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, come on, bro. You got to have better bars than this, man. You, I honestly thought he did. You friends with Jay Z? What the fuck yeah, is this? I thought he had better bars. I don't know. We got to hit honestly, the whole verse out of I context. I think NBA is more his, his, his shit, and KD hey, might be able to spit. KD, I think, got some shit. And I, I honestly love to hear the KD portion, at least. I kind of want to hear the KD portion, us, too. I'm not going to lie to you. They didn't show us both, or if they had to show us one, right. I want to hear KD's. But if they, I'd love to hear them both, because I do want to hear what LeBron did for the rest. I, I don't think that was it, was it? Nah, nah, there's more to, more to it. There's more. It's just a little snippet, man. Yeah, that, it, snippet. there had to be 16 bars, man. At least. <laughs> this guy, if you don't have 16 bars, oh, you're not making what if they're like track. going, what if they're like, what if, what if they're like going bar, you know how like Styles oh, P and JD Kids used to do At least 12. The, Styles P and JD Kids used to do the, like the back, <laughs> back and forth bar. Oh, oh yeah, where they're like finish each other's bars I, and I, shit. I, I used to love doing that shit. Uh, like, it's, it's interesting. It is interesting. It's a little hard to do, but, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like you gotta, you gotta kind of become like a, Symbiote. Hey, we did, we did that shit on like a uh, Siamese twin. That shit on your shit, right? Yeah, I did, y'all did, I did. It, it's it is it is take a little more work, <clears throat> right. but it, when the final product right. is always amazing. oh that shit I did was so fire. Dope. That shit was so because it's back and it's not even fire, just bro. two bars, two bars, two bars. It's like I'm finishing. No, bars. it wasn't even He's like that, bro. It's, bars, it was like, so complex and complicated. I'm gonna play that shit. I'm gonna play the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the verse for you. You should play. I'm gonna play it right you now. Should. 
kill tonight. Who we gotta hide tonight? Don't take his mouth and tie him tight. They hide him in their hiding spot. Like hide and seek, we call him out. Pull it out. Leave him all disease. MOB without the DEEP. Try and be a leader, need deep and shit creep. Without a paddle in a boat that's leaking, sinking. Probably won't find your body till next week. Sharp propellers, no need of sporing. This is my mob and I'll cut for him. Bus for him. Not a drop top for him. While we out of state torn, keep hollow tips falling. Like a pint of tub. Nigga, pass that cup. What's the town about reefing? Nigga, pass that run. Hit it right for the zone, avoiding the rush end zone. Now the crowd is pointing at us. Boys in the rush, the red was untouched. We tackling the tracks, you just two hand touch. Sit back in the back, eyes glued on us. This crack in the sack. And I rhyme that pass in the lack. Hollow point nails, you want a clutch. And we with the right lane, got reefer in the trunk. With speakers that bump, I pulled out a pump. And in place of that pump, I'm leaving a pump. Ass nigga too cold, gotta leave it to us. Mob on the mom, truck the weed of the cup. And I'm trying my hardest not to beat niggas up. Click, click, no charges when we leave niggas full. See, that shit was complex and complex. It was gangsta as fuck. Bars, nigga. No, <laughs> goddamn bars. We got bars. Right. Uh, hey, I'm just heading right man. for the zone, avoiding the rush. That was reefer, y'all. That was reefer, y'all. That was reefer, y'all. He, he you should be able to uh, tell the difference. They in might voices. not be able to tell, yeah, you man. Know, it's you hard. Know what it is hard. Because y'all kind of sound like one person. Yeah, it is true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how we kind of made it, but like, back and forth. It right. was fucking like, if you hear it and you kind of dissect it, right. You should be able to tell at least right. some differences. Some things you might not be able to, but yeah, it's back and forth, like <laughs> we in the get, middle. So. We go, we go get the KD and LeBron James. We need take, that. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear that. And if they do it like that, that's fucking dope. I'd right. be fucking dope if they that did that. Be. I don't think they did that though. I don't think they like each other that much. Yeah, it's now a special. <laughs> <laughs> we may not get it because of that. Right, right. After this, after this finals, yeah, after this, this finals. had to come out like years before. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what, I think we might not get it because if LeBron won, we wouldn't get it. Listen, if they KD they got to get one. The guys got to get one million retweets. All right, he's up to like sixteen thousand right now. So. We gotta get it going, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Cause I need to hear this song so I can, that's what we so need. I can roast the fuck out of it. It's not up to LeBron and KD. It's up to y'all. Right. Like, if y'all get on can Twitter. Help, get, get on Twitter, yeah. retweet this thing, get it up to how, to a million? We gotta get it up to a million. Get to a million. Like another 900,000 retweets. We can do that, though. It's not, it's not that, it's, it's not, not that, that, it's not that hard to get a million. It's not that hard to get, right. It really ain't. We'll Spread see. the word. You, uh, <clears throat> if you're listening, get on there and do it immediately if you got Twitter. <laughs> So the Hip Hop Hall of Fame is actually officially becoming a real thing, a true thing. You know what I'm saying? About time. It's about fucking... Why, about why fucking haven't they done, done this shit before? It should have... It should Like, there's been Hall of Fames for everything. Right, right. Everything. Every fucking thing. And hip hop's been around for right. good... They got the Rock and Roll wow. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Shit. They got Wrestling Hall of Fame. You got right. everything right. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Everything. They got... They got... They got to do it for hip hop, man. And hip hop is like at a peak right now. Hip hop is like... Up there, like real popular, even though I'm not loving the hip hop that's being out there and that's being that's, that's popular. <laughs> so you don't like Playboy Cardi? I really haven't heard him, so I need to hear him. I need to hear him. I need to Had hear him. Had it more. in my sock. Wah, I do need to hear him more. Wah, wah, wah. I, I guarantee I probably I probably feel him more than a lot of the shit that I've been exposed nah, you to. Won't. You probably won't. No? no, you don't think so? No. Not even a couple tracks. I listened to I listened to his whole little album or whatever, and I was like, yeah, you know. there was a couple. Of, when I heard Magnolia, I was like, yo, this is fire. The first thought you thought was like, no, nah, this yeah. is not Sharif's. Yeah, nah. this is not up. It's not for everybody, man. Yeah. It's not for everybody. But I liked it. Hey, Reef you know Re- Re- can uh, he'll check it out. I'll yeah. check it out. I just need to see like a Jada Kiss shrine. <laughs> I need to see a Jada Kid shrine. I need to see a UGK shrine. I need to see a fucking Outkast shrine. The you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I need you to put the greats in that obvious. bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, we got it. When that shit opens up, we got, it's going to be in Harlem too. So we got we got to go make, we take gotta, a trip to that shit. We got to do a fucking YouTube video yeah. of that shit. Right. We got we got to film right. that shit. It's not going to open until to 20, 2018. We got to give it to our fans because not all our fans will make it. Right. Yeah. You, know? you know what else has got to go in this bitch? There's a dude that put out a YouTube video that put like the last 40 years of hip hop. In one fucking continuous sequence, and all the music mixes in together. I'm gonna play this shit for you after the podcast, bro. Yeah, this shit is that. that shit is, is bananas. It it's fire. Fuck yeah, it is fire. How can it not be if it's if it's everything? It's everything. But the yeah. way that whoever did this shit, the way he like mixed everything in, where you got like you might have like <laughs> like a, a 2002 rapper, <laughs> right? It's like that, but they're mixing in. It's like they made a rap song using everybody's bar. It's kind of that. It's that fader. Where like it goes from here to and then it goes to the next track, right? But the beats are all mixing in together too. Yeah. Yeah. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Like how DJ does it, like a DJ does yeah, it, yeah, bro. Like, and they did the this shit so far, bro. And okay. it's like I was like, dog, they got to put this in the fucking you think in a, the fucking Smithsonian. You think a DJ did that shit? Like it, I, 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 I see that shit on the turntables. Yeah. Amazing. I'm gonna link it up for y'all so y'all can, y'all can check it out. In the day and age of technology, and right. you can do it on. A computer. It's on YouTube. 
Probably did it on a computer. They got the video clips. But if you did it on if you did it on a fucking turntable, it's right. awesome. That shit's gotta go in the in the hip hop hall of fame. Hell That's yeah. gotta be like the one thing like when you walk in. That should be playing on an intercom. Right. Well, I don't even know if it should be playing on an intercom. What that should happen is it's like you have now entered the the, the hip hop museum's hall of fame. Check out the past forty years of hip hop right now. That and should be like that, that shit should be played. That should actually be a, a kind of like a a room you go to in within the building right. where you can kind of be ex- like the first room you, sit you go down. to. Yeah, you, you kind of there'd be like a little, a little room, movie theater, a little room. movie theater type room. Because I mean, I recently went to NASA, the whole NASA station. Shit. I, this funny is I'm about to go to NASA too. The Johnston. No, yeah, I'm about to go to that shit. I went. I just went. <laughs> that's just that fucking shit, wild. They have it like that. Right. That's, what that's what I'm kind of thinking. They have a theater where they can right. tell. They show you a video. It's a little experience. Of all of of NASA from the beginning to the end. Right. So. Incorporate that type of shit, but obviously it's going to be more audio, not visual. But right. if they put the visual with it, right, you can make it a whole theater experience, right? And that would be very fucking dope. That would be dope. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because, you know, hey, we got ideas. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey listen, hey, hey, listen. Hey, don't be, don't be out here and till don't it. steal it. Don't be. Uh, hey, we, hey, we give do us this. We, hey, give us we, credit. We can get you popping, baby. We can get you popping, baby. You know what can saying? make it happen. Hit the PayPal up, baby. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen, get you Captain. popping, son. Come on, make it happen, Captain. Come on. <laughs> yeah, man. But, sh- but shout out, shout out, shout out to the Hall. I mean, shout out to the, yeah. the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. It's about fucking time. Official you museum. Know, we needed awesome. that, man. We needed that shit yeah. definitely because that shit is. It was like the only like the missing link in hip hop, right? Honestly, because with that in place, if this would have been in place when it should have been, like right. ten years ago, right. 10, 15 Shit, years ago. 15 years ago? 10 to 15 years ago, mm-hmm. I, I would say that that's when it probably should have been already put in. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't happen immediately. Mm-hmm. Hip-hop has to build a little bit. But about 10, 15 years ago, they should have made this happen. And the artists today would have had a whole different outlook on hip-hop. If they so? would have went and got educated by that. You know what I'm saying? If they would have... Right. Che- not necessarily because they may have not gone. You right, know what right. Well, I mean, you know, but you got to make that like... Once you realize, once that's there, it's going to be like the stop. Oh, yeah. And now there's going to be an saying? exposure. People are going to... There's going to be YouTube videos of people and their experience. Oh, I was right. here. And they're going to have little snippets of them. Oh, yeah, them of course. There. So you can actually get the experience through the internet now right. once it's open. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because people will post shit, let you know pictures, everything. So people that. would have been exposed to it. These artists probably would have been exposed to it in some way. Some form or fashion. Yeah, and they probably would have been able to soak in... Right. What the mean? Because y'all not y'all don't give a, they don't give a fuck they don't give a fuck now, bro. No, they, don't. they really don't give a fuck. They don't. They don't, they don't have a reason the to. They don't respect the history. I don't know if they don't respect. I want to say yes, they don't respect the history, but I just feel like they don't. They don't need to because you know, like what's well, their time? Yeah, I mean, it's, everything is like that. It's everything is just so open and well, yeah. everybody has access to to everything. everything you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's. You you, know, you can just focus on what you need to focus on and not and not care about anything else. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah. Can't be blindsided by or you know, Before we blinded f- by the rest. Right, right, you gotta right. just focus on what you're doing, basically. Right. Yeah, I, I get mean, it. And that's why I say it's their I time. It. I get it. Why you know, it's, it's a like, different time I don't period, care. Bro. I don't yeah. care. It's like it's me. I'm yeah. doing me. Yeah. But I think if they would have been like growing up, they would have been. Had a We're not doing of enough. Exposed to it. We're not doing enough of, of, of trying to teach them. We haven't. You know what but this is a this is kind of a start. Having a museum, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? But like, was history, like, I was listening, I was talking to this, this dude, he's like 21, you know what I'm saying? And he was listening to um, the J. Cole song where he, in the song, he's saying, don't save her, she don't want to be safe. He's saying that, right? And it's Project he's, not, he's not even, a, he's not even like, this is a little like dude from like South America, like yeah. barely, barely. Knows English? He pro- I mean, he knows English, but he doesn't listen to, okay. to hip hop on that like level, that. Okay, right? Okay, yeah. But he's singing the song and I'm talking to him, I'm like, do you know where this, that bar came from? Do you know that's a song from Project Pat? Called Don't Save Her, you know what I'm saying? Like, was mine, huh? He was like, what? Like, he didn't, he didn't know, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. you know what? You probably gave YouTube, uh, a, a, a view, like his video or yeah, something. That dude probably up. was like, and he got all, he was like, this is ratchet. Yeah, this is, <laughs> J. Cole's was way I better. I wanna be safe. He used it way better. <laughs> but it's like, where don't he wouldn't have said up. he wouldn't have said she that probably wanna, if there wasn't listen people listening right now that don't even know listen y'all don't save us you don't want to be saved that bar from J. Cole is actually Project Pat Project Pat song that Memphis came out Memphis 10 bro <laughs> Memphis 10 you know what I'm saying go look it up I don't, don't know about save that up. she don't want to be saved don't I obviously save. know about that I shit I want to be saved I'm a fucking 3-6 yeah. head but right. go check that out y'all <clears throat> Like I literally have a folder on my like on my hard drive. Just before I was exposed to Apple Music, obviously, but on my hard drive, I had a, <laughs> I, had a uh, I have a, I have a folder on one of my my external hard drive, right. and the folder is called Memphis Ten, right. and I have everything, everything. That's the Memphis Ten. 
Shout out. Shout out to 36 Mafia. Shout, shout out, out, shout out to Project Pat. Ties minds. For, for inspiring J. Cole to use that line. Right. Shout out to Project Pat. That's right. And go do your homework. Go listen to the Muffy, Project Muffy, Pat. Muffy, Muffy, yeah. <laughs> your boy. Your boy. <laughs> I seen it coming. <laughs> Popping bottles on that. I need your, another shot. Your boy. Your grown boy. My grown boy? <laughs> Was he a kid at one grown point? Grown ass man Obviously. boy. Obviously. Earth Gotti. Earth. Earth Gotti. Murder uh, Inc. It's murder. It's murder. Right, yo, um, Irv Gotti. <laughs> Irv Gotti was recently on Breakfast Club. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he he kind of gave some uh, some information about a new TV show that he's got that's coming to BET, which I actually think this is a dope dope idea. Brilliant. It is brilliant. It is. For those that don't know, uh, he's got a show coming out called Tales. You know what I'm saying? Which is kind of similar to Tales from the Crypt. But every episode is a different episode. It doesn't have anything to do with the... It's not a, a continuous story. Yeah. Not right now as, right, as of right now. But every episode is based off of a hip-hop song. And it's basically taking a hip-hop song and turning it into a story uh, with real characters and plots and all that. Uh, and it's going to be... It's coming out on BT. I think, this month. Later what? on this month. Yeah. Um... And uh, it was pretty dope. I gotta go check out the interview so he, he'll break it down to you. Yeah, I need to but I mean, like he was he was talking about songs that that kind of I guess it's kind of our era. You know what I'm saying? Where you had, you know, like like one of the songs he was talking about was the the Mary J. Blige and the Method Man, y- y'all all I need, and oh, how man. that's gonna have its own particular story. Or one of the ones he was talking about, which I'm really interested in, but he's gonna hold it till season two. Uh, was the DMX slipping? Hey yo, right? It's your boy. DMX, I'm, I'm falling. I can't get up. Yeah, and Slip. he's gonna turn that. And he was even saying he's gonna have DMX narrate the story. That'd be. He's gonna have different directors. Yeah, he's gonna have different dope. writers coming in. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking dope idea, man. Oh god, that's a fire ass idea. And you know what? He's been. He's probably been working on this shit, thinking like working yeah. out the kinks. You know, like trying right. to get the bugs out of his. You know, right. his whole process of thinking like, nah, maybe not that. Or hold up. And he's probably been working on it. Cause where has he been? Right. Where's been? Where's our, where, where's Irv been? I, bleh, where's Irv Gotti been? Couldn't even spit that shit out. Where's Irv Gotti been? It's, he's been like not he's been on the, the background. Yeah, not right. in the spotlight. That's what I was about to say. He's not been in the spotlight, and and now he's ready for his return with some right. with a brilliant idea. That's what he I'm said. Saying. It like, was actually Jay Z that was able to like really kick the door down on it because really? yeah, I think he was saying something about how he got one. They gave us gave him one episode. Test the waters, you know what I'm saying? Because okay. these episodes are going to be like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Whatever, you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And so... Um, can't be short. Yeah, it can't be short. No, you got to make it... can't be 30-minute episodes. I'm thinking uh, like Black yeah. Mirror, you know what I'm saying, meets hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. Ideas. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, he was saying how Jay-Z was able to go in there and get a deal for them to do an eight full episodes. You know what I'm saying? Hell and yeah. how he was going to do the DMX song... On the first season, is like his, I think his season finale, but what ended up happening was BT was trying to, uh, you know, destroy and add things to DMX's story that they didn't want to. Trying to tarnish DMX even more? I don't think it was trying to tarnish. I think they were just trying Come to on. fabricate it a little bit more to make it more, you know. And he was like, nah, I can't. So he said he's going to wait to the second season. He wants to see how the first season does so he can have a little more leverage more, going yeah, in. Yeah, more like, leverage. We're more doing control. it this way. Yeah, yeah. more money yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You well, know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to because if you... At, at first, it's like it's a great idea, but we'll see how it does. Right, right. So then it's like we have control of this. You know, we want it, we'll give you our input, and you have to do what we say because we're letting you do it. Yeah. So by second season, if it's a hit, full control. Right. At I think it's most. A, I think it's a dope ass idea. Just yeah. just for just for people to. I wish I thought of it. That's I wish I fucking thought, thought of it. Idea. God damn. You know what I'm saying? That's like. Money in the bank, shorty. What you think? Right, right, shorty, right. what you drink? Right. Whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know, what, what did that song say? Money in the bank. I got shorty money with, in the bank. Shorty, what shorty, you drink? What you drink? What you, I got money drink. in my bank. Or what you think? And he'd be like, like no. <laughs> shorty, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. Shout out, Scrappy. Shout out, shout out, shout out old school Southern rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Shout out to, shout out, where we at. shout out to South's Rain on top. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Get back. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, no, I think it'll be really dope, especially when he gets it to the point where he's doing He's doing, you know, I'm pretty sure the first season or two he's going to be doing like, you know, his East Coast, you know, that era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all that kind of shit, which is fine, cool. But eventually he's going to, he's going to run out those ideas and he's going to have to hit up 
He's gonna have to expand. He's gonna have to do the West Coast. He's gonna have to do the South. The South. He's gonna have to do the Midwest, Midwest Chicago, yeah. and all that. So he possibly fuck around and do some. No, nah, I don't think he will. I was gonna say do some overseas for exposure of other people who are fucking big, but yeah, yeah probably not. Nah, fuck them niggas. Eh, there's people. Fuck, who do we're not doing no Canadian shit, fam. I said overseas. We're not doing bro. Drake. I said overseas, nah, nah, bro. I don't give a fuck. Is that overseas? That's overseas to me, fam. All I was right. gonna say, I that's didn't know co- Canada was that's a across the continent. water for me. I didn't right? know there was a different country. Nah, I didn't know. There nah. Was- <laughs> bro, there ain't even a river separating <laughs> nah, Canada nah. from Europe. From yeah, it, is, yeah, it is actually is. Yeah. It's actually, a yeah. whole big I think in Michigan. Yeah. The whole river goes across the whole There's water. a river that separates Michigan the whole in uh, in in, I didn't know that. Not the whole oh, whole border. Oh, right. oh, that's Mexico, yeah, United yeah. States. There's a whole river and a whole fucking border. Right, right. Yeah, that's why I was. I was like, really? Nah, we're, like, not, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not bringing Canadians here. You know what I'm saying? We don't want no Cardinal official. You know what I'm saying? Why not, man? Nah, man. We got it. Hey, we got to make America great again. All right, we got to make America great again. <laughs> Word to Trump? Is what you yeah, tell word me? To, what the, what word the, to Trump. I hate. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, but uh, no, nah, I think it's gonna be a dope ass, dope ass idea, man. So I'm, 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 no, I'm, take, I'm taking off my mic. I'm, I'm out of here. I can't hear. I can't right. work with this <laughs> environment. I can't, get, I can't work in this environment. Listen, holler, deuce. <laughs> no, and, <laughs> for all the hip hop heads out there, y'all got to support this show, man. Yeah, you know need to, yeah. need to. We need more. We need more of right, that. Right. Cause shit like no, that. No, I, I love the fact that there's more, there's Fucking more, there's more stories being told from the hip hop community on a large scale like this. Like the fact 50 Cent's doing a BMF TV series. That's fire to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If it's done well, yeah. I haven't watched Power yet, but if it's anything like Power, it's gonna do fucking. It's gonna do well. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean it even goes to show all these these, these artists, or not necessarily, not necessarily artists, but movies about. Artists, you right? Know what I'm saying? I mean, and then it's saying you got, you got all these, you got all these, these. I, uh, I mean, we, t- we talked about this a couple of podcasts ago, yeah. but just the rise of the the hip hop biopics. Yeah, the biopics. Biopics. Yeah, the biopics. 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 Yeah, yeah. It's like obviously it's really right. big right now. Right. People want that shit, so everyone's trying to cash in on that. This is what this is what <clears throat> the that's exposing that, history. That's right. another thing that's showing history to right, the youth of hip hop, right? Because they want to see shit like that, right? Because it's not just hearing the artists and love. They may have not liked their music, right? But now they get to see their their story, right? Their life, shit they went through. They get they to see have, why the fuck we care so much about a, some yeah, of this shit. They'll see shit on a different way, in a different way of where like they see why they came out with the music they came out with, right, and shit right. like that. You know, this is an scene, amazing it, fucking it, time. It's it amazing. It, it's an amazing time for for the culture. That's hip hop. Yeah. On uh, that note, right? Not 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 actual shit coming out, but. Right. <laughs> The shit that's being like not I'm talking about not the music coming out necessarily right. is what's great in in the culture right now, but but <clears throat> the exposure of right. the history and of right. other artists right. and then you know hip hop uh, museum you know what I'm saying Hall of, you know everything it's like the Hall of Fame and shit it's like shit is expanding on a different level not just right. the actual artists and not yeah. just the 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 shit that's coming out the content that's coming out. Lyrical, you know right. what I'm saying? Lyrical content that's coming out. We're actually getting visuals. We're getting history lessons. I mean, it's fucking it's a great time in, in hip hop. That's what's great about it's it. It's an amazing time. Yeah. Amazing time. You know what I'm saying? So we could have used some of this shit. I mean, you may be like, I don't want to know about their history. But, you know, you may have no, looked at I, some of I, these I, other listen, artists' history. I did look up some of their history. Well, yeah. I mean, you yeah. Know what I'm saying? We, we were able but it to wasn't look like it on up. a level of movies and TV but yeah, that's, shows. That's what I'm saying. You got, if you we would have got that, that kind of we would have. But I've definitely had, loved watch documentaries and. Well, we would have we had more people in our age group do that. Because I did the same thing. I've watched shit like that. Right. And I've actually looked. I mean, in the day of YouTube, I did it. Because YouTube right. has been for, around for a while. And even before that, internet. I would fucking go to actual artists' websites back in the day. Their websites. And yeah. just listen, read their biopic right. and mm-hmm. and everything videos they're putting out. Right. I would do that shit back in the day at the beginning of the like when internet when people really didn't even know what the fuck was going <laughs> when on. Line wire was popping, fam. I'm talking about with a dial up, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, up, yeah. like that shit. There was no Wi Fi back then. You know, that's but, true. You know what I used to do? I used to go to this website. It used to be called Ola. Yeah, it was uh, o h h l a dot com. I think the website's still around because uh, I found them on Twitter one day. And it was the original hip hop lyrics archive. What? And this is where I would go and I would get lyrics from rap songs. Uh, and know the lyrics. And I would know the lyrics. I would read the, and there were some songs I had never heard, but I would, I would know the lyrics. Because, yeah. I had never listened to a young MC song. But you knew But I, reading his lyrics, I was like, yo, he's dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't heard a young MC song right now in but my whole you, life. But you, but you've, 
read his lyrics. I've read his lyrics. Yeah, though. you know what I'm okay. saying. See, that's the type of hey. shit. we went into that shit. Right, that's right. what I'm saying. That's we, what I'm saying. We're we, hip hop heads. We are hip. We are, we are like hip-hop. true hip. Hey man, hey, man you nigga, know, yeah. give it to boys, Don. You know, what young man, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like we're hip hop heads. We used to do that shit in the day and age where it was like right. you're doing that. Like right. I, I'm gonna go out. I'm playing basketball. I'm, I'm doing some research. I'm doing some research. I'm trying to learn about something I love. You know what I'm saying? No limit. Records.com yes. is a website I can visit. 36 mafiacom <laughs> no, It was triple six.com. Uh, right. And we've been on this web shit, baby. Everything. You know what I'm saying? I used to do that shit back in right. the day. You know, right. that's how I knew about artists coming out that were underground right. to us because we didn't, they were, they were underground, like they were like their lower end, yeah. you know, artists they're putting out, not and them. There's and so many like stories, there's so many like things that have happened. You could make a whole story off the whole cash money, rise and fall yeah. of cash money. You could make a whole story of, you know what I'm saying, fucking uh, the coming together of the Wu Tang. Yeah, I'll, you I'll, can like you bro, could do you so just, many my fucking thought, stories. Stole my fucking thought because I was gonna say I would have loved while you were saying that right. about Wu Tang in my head. I I was saying in my head because this is what I was about to say next. Once you gave me a chance, right. I was gonna and I kind of cut in, but I was gonna say I would have loved to see. A, a Wu Tang documentary type shit back in the day. They you probably had some. Well, I mean, there were so many. There were so many. There was like a movie, not a, a documentary. Oh, like a movie. movie. Yeah, a movie. Okay, okay, I mean. okay, not okay, documentary. Right, right. I'm sorry, but more like a I movie. would like I would to see that shit now. Yeah, I would love to see that shit right. now, definitely. But I would have loved to see that in the t- right. day and age of where you know we're growing out of that because the Wu was with us, but right. it was before us, kind of in a sense too. It was like at the same time, but even well, not before us. It was like even like uh, not right. Uh, Rock him and shit like that. Right. I would love to see shit on them, like movies. Right, right, right. But we didn't get that. We're gonna get it. Are we gonna get everything? Yeah, yeah. like all of them. Oh yeah. Are you sure? Oh yeah, we're gonna. It's, it's not gonna happen it, right away. Get too, it might happen over the next twenty, too, 30 get, years. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say it'll be too saturated if everyone tries to come out nah, right now nah, and nah, everyone's nah, doing nah. it. We're just getting money. <laughs> we're just not getting money to be able to do this well, shit. I, yeah, the fucking the fucking the. The, the studios are like, you know what? We, uh, we believe. We believe in the Tang. Oh, fuck yeah. We'll get, we, we'll <laughs> we get believe in the Wu. I, I believe we'll get a Wu Tang. We, we, oh, we will. We'll yeah, get it. We'll that, get everything, that, that, bro. That, that if it's done right, it, we'll get, we'll get everything. But you know what I'm saying? Right are we, people are behind it. We'll get everything, bro. Well, as long as you were. A the hit. things that we need to get. You, yeah, I was going to say, as long like as public you were, enemy, the legends. Yeah, you know I was going to say, as long as you have history I don't, in hip hop. I don't really want a story of. <laughs> I was, that's what I was about to do. Like, <laughs> I was Bone Crusher. Up, I don't yeah, I was, you know what I'm saying. Like, I was going to bring up a name. I didn't know who to I don't say. want Bone Crusher. That's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> like, we don't need that. Do I really want to see like a like a, a biopic of Paul Wall's life? No, I don't. No, I actually, we already now, know it. We, whole, we probably already know it. That's why the whole Texas, Houston bro. scene as a whole. Yes, and Paul Wall being and like the rise character. of Houston. Right, and all right. That shit. Yeah, I'll take yes, that. I'll, I'll take, take that. that. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't want a solo one on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't need a solo <laughs> one of Houston because it's the rise of. You know, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we, we, we gotta that. we gotta keep that for the legends. Well, you know what? We're saying that, but someone from another region is like probably Berg. like, "We need that. I want to know their story." As we a need a story. young Berg, yeah, biopic. <laughs> 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 Fucking Cadillac <Yeah>. Todd. <laughs> Jesus. They're gonna hate. They're listening. They're, they are listening. They're I know. avid listeners. And we just lost them. I know. Appreciate it. I know. Appreciate I'm it, bro. Dickhead. Nothing against them. Dick. Nothing against no, them. Because Young Berg's been doing a lot, of, a lot behind the scenes. But oh, yeah, I, like he, I think he actually but honestly, wrote the hook on. But the, he probably is even like, nah, y'all don't need a biopic on me. Right, right. Yeah. He probably feels the same. No, like, 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 you really understand? Really, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people that have different roles. Well, but, yeah, we're saying like the legends, the people legends. who really have legends. have affected hip hop. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not need that. Not. We don't people who've came and gone. You know what I'm saying? Oh God, you you really have. Names. I don't want to do. You shit. have names. Sit the shock. I don't. I don't care. I said the shock. That's what he was the yelling. Shock. For some reason, I liked him for a moment. Like like, well, you know, who didn't fucking like him? No, shock but honestly, like not like I liked him for a moment. Like honestly, for a moment, he was my favorite in No Limit. Like for a moment, he was my favorite. I was thinking, like, man, this fool is wrong. You know who's always my favorite? Savage. Real talk. Fiend was always my favorite, oh. and you know it was real oh, crazy. Came in, um, when I opened uh, up for currency uh, okay. in in when college we, station, we, yeah, that's right, you were there. <laughs> we oh, we got to meet Fiend. Me you t- did you take the picture? Did, or maybe you were like nah. the picture. I got to meet Fiend, man. I'm like, dog, you really was the one. Well, that we, both, started we, right? we both did. We both yeah. we all, or we all were there. Yeah, yeah. You, you talked to him a little bit. That right? was when camera phones wasn't that lit, yeah. and yeah. Uh, 
when you took a picture, the light would yeah. blind your eyes. Yeah. Because it was a really like, like, a, like a flash. Yeah, man, we opened that yeah, shit, we, man. Yeah, we were there. We yeah, yeah Fiend was there. I, I was honestly like, yeah, hey, we cut that yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, Fiend, I used to fucking jam the fuck out of him. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. That fool was fucking dope. But sh- shout, out, shout out to, o- shout, out, shout out to the old school. He you definitely was probably one of my favorites, like, overall in No Limit. Him right. and, him and C Murder. Right. Had to go see her. And then Mystical. Ooh, that's you, can't, you can't leave Mystical out. Life or Death and Boston Lini. Man, those, those are those are from my favorite my fa- albums. Your favorite Steve Murder albums, huh? There's one in every family. Fiend, there's one in every family. First album. That first was my album favorite. Fiend. I had that yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Womp Womp. And then when Fiend got with 3 Six Mafia, he did the head busters. The head busters, that I was on that too. Funny. That was oh. on that too. Yes. People are like, what listen, are these? That was listen re- to listen, those albums. Go listen to Fiend and 3 Six Mafia. My God. It was actually Juicy J and DJ Paul. And that's when they did that scene from, I don't I can't remember what movie, but they did that pig scene. Was like you get rid of a body, you go you have someone that has a little pig for him, and yeah. like it's like yeah. that head buses, head yeah. buses. That's right. I actually bought that album off the strength of the fact that it was Three Six and Fiend. I never even heard a song. There was no and radio they, promotion. There was no, no fucking nothing. Video. Never, it was just like oh shit, Fiend well, and Three Six Mafia. Well, I was Fuck Three it, Six, let's do it. So I, it was definitely gonna be in my archive. Right, right. Yeah, but still, shout, 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 shout out to the old school baby. You know what I'm saying? People shout need to check to, these. Shout out to the real hip hop heads. Out Everything there. we say that like when we talk about an album on this podcast, y'all need to write those motherfuckers yeah. down. Cause y'all need to go check go them out Google. after you listen to us. Just go Google Mr. Womp Womp. Say, don't, don't start looking immediately. <laughs> listen to us, write it down. Listen right. to us, and when we're done, go look that shit. Go right. look that shit up. Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj. Womp! I just threw another one in there. Uh, goddamn. Uh, <laughs> Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma is back at it again. Uh, again? Yeah, cause Nicki Minaj it recently. Won't end, bro. Right when you think it's getting old. Right. Let's just bring it back up. It's back. Women don't ever let shit die, bro. Women, <laughs> yo, yo, women don't you ever. It, did you just take it there? I know I'm being real misogynistic right now. You took it there. Listen, wow. women know this shit. Women know they don't let things. I didn't know it's true, though. They'll, 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 they'll take, they'll internalize it and they'll be like, all right, that's cool. I got you later. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'll let it go right now, but I didn't let it go yeah, forever. I'm just going to drop a bomb on you later. You know what I'm saying? Better and that's what, that's what Re- Remy Ma did on Nicki Minaj. Uh, Remy Ma was recently at, yeah, she was recently at Hot 97, Summer Dream. Oh. Said she was gonna put Nicki Minaj on the Simmer Jam screen, and she did. And uh but what was really interesting about the whole thing was uh Remy Ma brought out what all of bring? these fe- she brought out the women of hip hop. Queen Latifah was there. Yeah. I think MC Light was there MC if I'm not mistaken. Light, man. Fucking man uh they fucking heads don't Cardi even know who B. we're talking about. Who's Queen Latifah? Who's right. MC Well, they probably know Queen Latifah, but MC Light, come right. on. They had uh One of the Cardi B, they had Lil artists. Kim. Young and May, uh, yeah. and to be honest with you, Remy Ma is doing everything that Nicki Minaj should have been doing a long a time long, ago. We talked you know about this. Yeah, we did talk about that a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, listen, hey, listen, hey, hey. I the know what I'm talking about. Run, I know what about. I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? We know this, man. <laughs> we know yeah. this. So it's looking Come real on. bad for Nicki right now because it kind of looks like yeah, who's oh. in your corner. You know what I'm saying? You don't have hip hop in your corner. The hip hop queens. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look at them. They all queens in their own right. Just like you gotta look at all the kings. Everyone's a queen. You know what I'm saying? They're all queens. And they all bring something to the table of hip hop. They're all trying to fucking reach the same goal. And that's trying to bring light to women's hip hop. Right. And trying to make it bigger. Right. And trying to inspire young people to get into the game and like, and make it bigger. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want. Right. Cause they, they're, I guarantee women are tired of being in the, the background the back. of the men, and there's so many women out here that can that can and spit. They are just spit better than the dudes, right? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. It's right. like when you hear some of them, you're like, <laughs> "This yeah. is dope." You know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, I was jamming the chat and and Gangsta Boo a lot right. more than listen. It, we talking about no limit album. albums. I had me an ex Mama Drama. Me an ex. You know what I'm saying? All day, bro. Right. I had me an ex. All it's the biggest day. Mama Mia. The, right, man. <laughs> she fucking will kill that shit. Right, right. All yeah. day. Yeah, her album was fire. Yeah. All of them. Fire, fire, all fire. Of them. Yeah, but that's what we're saying. These women, that's all they want, and and barbs. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> she's been holding them back. The well, the, the bar, the barbs are are they're like I almost said baps. I ain't gonna lie, I was, I, and then my was like, yeah, "Hey, baps, no, nah, nah. barbs." The, the barbs are the, the barbs are. Uh, I think they're 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 yeah. they're still gonna ride with Nikki at oh, the end of the day. day. Of course they are. They're, all they're, day, they're stands. <laughs> Listen to the listen to our last, last podcast, podcast where we broke down the whole the Stan the origin of Stan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we yeah, can't do, stands. we can't do the conclusion. Yeah, there's stands. Uh, 
and uh, they're you know they're gonna defend it no matter what. Oh damn! You know what I'm saying yeah, they they they're not gonna turn their back. They looking at somebody they're, was they're like hating on it. Yeah, they're like these bitches need to get to be put out here yeah. because they got where they been, yeah, where like, they been, okay. all this stuff. And then a lot of people were saying Remy, Remy Ma ain't fucked with none of these females until this, right. like, and now that now that she's trying to just do something. You know, what I'm saying and stand out and be against Nikki. Like at least, at Marvel least, Remy Ma it. understood that it was bigger than her. It's big. It's you know what I'm saying. It's a whole. It's like yeah. all of these women, like I said, bring, pave the way. Pave the way, and then there's the other ones that are younger that have something to bring. Yeah, I think that Lady Rage. <sighs> what are yeah. Afro puffs? Yeah, Rage. Right. Rock on with you your band. Bro, let me tell you something. This you cannot Go check that shit. You cannot out too, hate on that rage. move. You cannot She's hate on that. That's a chess move. Gangster is fuck, bro. That's that's a chess move by by Remy Ma. You cannot hate on that. Yeah, she was one of you the You can't top knock that. Artists too. You know what I'm saying? If you knock that, you probably don't even listen to rap. You're probably like a pop a pop star fan. Yeah, you, you definitely listen. You love like Nicki's you pop, pop. Like music. you, your your playlist is probably like Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, Drake, Maroon Five. Uh, <laughs> Fucking uh, what's her name? Uh, what's the redhead guy's name that everybody likes? Ed Sheridan. Ed Sheridan. Ed Sheridan. Ed Sheridan. Yeah. Is it Sheridan? No, no. And Bruno Mars. All right. Bruno Mars. Not to say that those that's not those are bad artists, but that's not hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So it's pop. It's pop. So if you're that's if that's your, if that's, that's your hip, playlist, that's hip hop, hip yeah. hop, hip yeah. pop, hip pop. Yeah, it's hip hop. Yeah. If that's your playlist, you really don't have a leg to stand on when it talks about this hip hop shit. And, yeah. and Remy Ma knows the hip hop shit. I'm sorry. Like she fucking, she wins. She's in. Yeah. She's not. She's not. On the outside, she's like within hip hop. Yeah, she's like, in it. She's yeah. in it. Like she's deep in the game, right. as they Nikki say. Nikki used you know it to reach a certain point, and she hasn't looked back. Exactly. She kind of <clears throat> she forgot right. about everyone else. Right. She just thought me, me, me. Like I'm in the spotlight. Monopolizing me. me. Yeah. I, I can run it all, and she did not yeah. fucking. You know she, how many? She was McDonald's, and she, she did, she, and she, she didn't expect. Uh, what's the what's the fucking spot everybody goes to? The little Mexican spot, the Mexican food. Tacaria? No, it's not. No, the, no, no. Not the Tacaria. Because they're, they're everywhere. No, bro, no, what's, what's I love the, it. The, the, the fast casual spot everybody talks about? Chipotle. Chipotle. She's she's McDonald's and she wasn't expecting Chipotle to get in Chipotle the fucking game. Chipotle got in the game. You know what I'm saying? Got in the game made them bigger. It's like, now we make fresh, real, raw, good food. I think Freebirds didn't expect Chipotle. Because <laughs> that's like the same thing, but better. Right, right. Sorry, right. Freebirds, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? Sorry, Chipotle Freebirds. took over. Yeah, the game. Chipotle owns yeah. that. All day. Yeah, but um, yeah, shout out to Remy Ma. Shout out to Remy Ma and the Remy Mafia. You know what I'm saying? They were entering my tweets the other day. Yeah. Because Remy Mafia got into my tweets the other day. Yeah. Yeah, I tweeted out yeah. that. I tweeted out that. that <laughs> That, yeah, yeah and I, and there was you know there's there was bars and mafia arguing in you know in my tweets you know what I'm saying I was like okay whatever yeah you know I mean but shout out shout out to Remy mafia man shout out, shout out to all of them and shout out yeah shout, shout out, out to the Remy female rap, rap female rap game shout out shout, shout out, out to that. the female rap game and y'all need to slide back into the scene as a whole right not just as a single right. a whole because we need that right hip hop needs that because believe it or not. You will have these dudes out here jamming these female rap artist albums hard. Right. You really will. Yeah, they do I, now. They do now. A lot I've of been there, done that. Shit. Yeah. Been doing it. That's always going to happen. Because I, I, I fuck with Rhapsody. I listen to Rhapsody. So. Fuck yeah. Shout them out. Shout them out, man. Shout them out. Shout them out. All you right. Check them all out. Right. All the names we said, go hear them. Because you ain't missing. You, you missing out if if you ain't listening. Because, man, right. hold up. <laughs> My boy, what? It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. I knew it. Your boy. Ah. We're gonna need a new catchphrase, bro. Your homie. We gotta stick with your boy. Yeah, we well, gotta stick with it because yeah, we gotta stick with it. it's been, yep. it's the call. Well, you know what? When we come up, come yep. out with the apparel, we're gonna yeah. have a t-shirr that says your boy. Right, you got is. to, got to. Your baby boy. Yeah. <laughs> My baby boy. Your, your baby bizoy. X X X tentacion. Man, that's your boy too, man. Remember, we both gave him a good rating. We did rating. him a good rating on his we album. We both gave him a good rating. <laughs> yeah. We passed him. And there's a lot of people that don't like him either. You that's like our age, they fucking cannot stand his ass. But you know, they, they're really not open minded. Like, I'm not open minded to a lot of that you shit. You probably wouldn't have listened to him. You probably, if I didn't say, look, we should check it check out. Check it out, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Well, and you were, and you were, you I, were honestly, surprised. I honestly had heard. Right. Oh, no, that's look at me. Heard, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had heard, heard that already. So, for those of y'all that don't know, X is X and Tassion. This happened last week. He's at a show. He got um, blindsided on stage. 
Smokey ended or not, yeah, Smokey ended up on top of him. He said, <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. Woo! Man, you got knocked the fuck out! Uh, Can't even hit the voice. He got like knocked him. out. He did. He really uh, did. He fucking stiffened up. He fucking hands Oh, up. shit, dog. He's like, he's dead, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, God damn. And then the dude who did it... <laughs> He got the, he, he apparently he got, got stabbed. Out. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I after know that. He looked, like I know he got. I know you went when to I look at the video. He ran off the stage. People look like they were fucking him up right. on the edge of the stage. Right. He was getting fucked up, but he got like out of it. Went off. So I don't know yeah. what happened. If you watch, they got a bunch of different angles. But if you watch, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see him like uh, you know they got a lot. Of, he's he got he got away, but there was there's songs saying he got stabbed. Somebody got stabbed that night. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I don't know what happened with that. Um, Either way, but, it's crazy he got away. There was a crowd of motherfuckers around him. Yeah, apparently this stemmed from. If we did the whole, I'm crouching in the middle, everyone's, and then he just sneaks right. out from between someone's legs. And yeah, walks that's, away. What that's what and happened. That's what happened. Just walked away. Somebody like, else got beat up. He's like, man, I hope they whooping his ass. And then walked away. <laughs> he starts throwing punches too. <laughs> <laughs> Hits a few people. Oh, my bad. I'm trying to hit him yeah, too. Yeah. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> just runs away. Um, oh, nah, but shit. apparently it stems from a beef between him and uh, Rob Stone. Rob Stone was like, don't come to my city, baby. And XZ was like, I'm coming to your city, Nick. He came to the city and, you know, he got dropped. I mean, there's a little bit. It, it goes, wasn't the dude, though, was it? It was one of his riders? Yeah, I, listen. <laughs> listen, listen. There's a video that I forgot I like about. It. I like that, it when someone does what they want. Like, when they say, don't come. They well, I mean, maybe sure. maybe he could. Listen, he was. He originally, they, him and his crew jumped another one of XXX and uh crew members at a show previously and when they were supposed to be at the Rolling Loud Festival the, the Rolling Loud was like look we'll pay you not to come yeah. to Rob Stone you know what I'm saying so apparently people people they know they know that Rob Stone is, if he comes where XSX is at it's going to cause there's gonna, it's going to be issues so maybe he couldn't get to that point you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. you got to get a good one at that point you know what I'm saying to get reach that person you know what I'm saying especially yeah. he had all security and all oh, that yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying that's what <laughs> that fool came out of nowhere. Hey, he came out of nowhere. Like, you watched the donkey video, punch. that fool just was like, he, he ran through right. the punch. Right. Yeah, you know, he hit him and kept going. Like, it was one of those, my, my run is coming with the force of the punch as well. Right. Like, I'm swinging and I'm running. So you have like two times the force. Listen though. Yeah, he did. It was, like, it was, it was a run. It was a donkey it was punch. A, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a power punch. Yeah. It was. <laughs> It's like listen. Yeah, it was a power punch. If you ever listen, oh, wait, wait. You're a man, right? Just think about you giving, putting every ounce of energy and power in your body yeah. and punching somebody that's not looking and running. Through you it. would dare and, and run through. And it. You get a running start it. and you just jump in the air and you do like a fucking you run Superman across punch. The stage, right? And you just you could fucking kill somebody yeah. if, if you don't. If you like literally could break their jaw. Yeah, yeah. If you hit them in the temple, you could just, right. you kill, could just them. kill them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like immediately, right? But I mean, that fool was out. He was out. He was uh, out. So what's what do you think is going to become of his career after this? I honestly think that his career may not be affected because it was a blindside, bro. Like it was a blindside. It was it wasn't one of those like this dude you squared up with a dude and a dude knocked you out. That's bad. You know what I'm saying? Because there's the videos of him video. fighting. But if you you over here not even looking, you're doing your shit on the stage and then bow, you get hit from the side. It's like how it shouldn't affect your career. Like if it does, that's I, fucked I think up. Because I think it's gonna help him. That's what I'm saying. It, like in a bad way, I'm saying like it shouldn't. All publicity is bad. good publicity. Yeah. Well, definitely. And he got well, a lot of publicity from that. People are gonna feel shit. bad. People are gonna be like, oh, his fans are already, gonna be like, oh, this fans are. There are his fans are already like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, fans definitely. But I'm saying these females, if they see that, oh, that's fucked up. Who did that? Who is that? So it's Boom. Females. New fan. You know what I'm saying? You got a new fan and shit. Because yeah. I mean, all you got, all you got to do right, all you got to do right now is put out a video yeah. and promote it widely across the internet, yeah. and everybody's gonna go check it out. It's not. Some people are gonna hate it. But the people that you need to like it are gonna like it, yeah. and then you've created your fan base. Yeah. He's good. He's good. Definitely. He's That's fucking good. That, that was my you know what I'm like, saying? He, yeah. No bad is coming from this. Right. Like people ain't gonna look like you got knocked out. Fuck right. him. That's so crazy okay. how that happens with certain people. Like they'll get knocked out, and everybody's like, "Yeah, fuck that dude." And it's cr- yeah. And nobody ever hears him again. Yeah. Case in point: No diss, Mike Jones. Oh yeah. Well, his was warranted though. Okay. All right. There you go. Some people. Some people say. Some people say shit to X and like, like like fucking. Trey fucking was was being the truth at that moment, oh, like shit. the way he is. The he was being, truth. being the mayor of Houston. He, well, he wasn't being the. He was. Uh, That's what not it was. A, being the mayor of Houston, he was basically saying, "You're not the mayor of Houston. Right, you right. Claim it. 
especially because especially with everything like tra- trade man, does and like yeah and and there's so many more people that would 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 fall in line before yeah, before, before him Jones. definitely yeah. like right. have that that title yeah you know what i'm saying way before him like stop saying i think that. i think You're too is because you ain't even in the city is what x I'm saying. he puts out a lot of his emotions into his music no yeah. and that leaves him kind of vulnerable yeah I'll you know what i'm that, saying yeah. so when people attack that it's like damn bro like why are you attacking him like that you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying but that is not going to stop the internet from making our jokes and the jokes oh, yeah. the jokes slew and they were funny the memes, as shit yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you, you see when they, did you yeah. see when they tried to bring him back on the stage oh and they were carrying him yeah they're carrying him yeah. and somebody was like somebody said yo why is bodyguard bringing him back to the stage like weekend at bernie's okay <laughs> Oh my god! That shit was so funny, bro. Like the jokes is gonna fly, but at the same time, that's just not hurting XXX. Nah, he's good. That shit his wasn't crew, even cool. It's his like, crew is good. If you if you have a beef with someone, like yeah. that's not the way to do it. Yeah, run across the stage and just blindside. It's like run on stage and then square up with him and do it on camera. What? Like like right, what's right. up? And then like start fighting. Right, right. Like well, you a, got a, a okay. real fight. Like blindsides are so the, lame, bro. There, like, there was also talks that lame, that bro. X put out. Uh, a picture of Rob Stone's baby mother and his infant child on the internet and was like stomped them on sight. You know what I'm saying? Which to me is, <clears throat> you know, if somebody does that, like the whole like, let's go up and have a fair one, to shoot the fair one, yeah. kind of falls out the window because you're threatening my family now at this point. You're telling people, random people to stomp my, my, my baby mother and my child yeah. when they see him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at that point, it's like... It's crossing a line. Yeah, it's like... It's not, it's not even between me and you anymore. You bring right. someone else that's not Yeah, like, in certain, in certain, yeah. like, if this was the 90s, like, the nigga might be killed. Fuck yeah. They would have ran up on him and shot him like the they did Dimebag, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On stage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that's what happened with Dimebag and rest RP to Dimebag, R. but yeah. in that time period, hey, you was going to get assassinated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it was. You know what I mean? So, he, he might have, he might have lucked out by just getting stolen. on. You know what I'm saying? It could have been. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, it could have been a lot you know what worse. I'm saying? Yeah, it could have been a lot. In this day and age, like you said, man, everybody li- is is living by the gun, dying by the gun type right. shit. That's right. how everybody living these days. Right. The youth, yeah, like so. So he's got to. He's you never so, know. I will say this: X has really got to watch his back, man. You know now, what I'm yeah, now that he's really he's a target, really gonna these skyrocket, days. Yeah. and now he better really uh, hear these warnings. And and yeah. when there's warnings, because I don't want to see anybody step up his shit. Yeah, because it's at the point now where somebody might get killed. Yeah, he needs to you think about where he's going, and mm-hmm. if he still wants to go there, he needs to have security step up like a motherfucker and like bring what outside that? security, not right. your security from there, because yeah, security yeah. from there can let something slide. Hey, hey. And I'm with you, bro. <laughs> I got you. I'm security. Right, right. Hey. I got security at this show. Right. I'm gonna let you through. Hey, and that shit. Listen, Possibly man. could have happened. I don't know if that's you go. Happen, you go to somebody else's city that you're beefing with. How do you get them in? Expect the worst. Yeah, well, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Listen, you better, you better be on stage strapped. Biggie went to Cali. Like I'll be on stage after strapped, when they were bro. beefing. You know what I'm saying? Biggie didn't make it back from Cali. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. After the after Pac was already gone, right? You know what I'm saying? But people <laughs> took that shit to heart. People were pissed. Beef is beef, fanatics man. Fanatics yeah. are fanatics, and right. fanatics are crazy. Stands, yeah, stands are crazy. Yeah, I, I, I'll forever call them fanatics because that's that's my that's we my gotta, way. We gotta, we gotta keep it hip hop, baby. Gotta keep it hip hop, baby. Fanatic, man. Fanatic. Derek's what was the name? Is Derek. <laughs> if Eminem had named this song Derek instead of Stan, imagine yeah. we would have been saying Derek. Yeah, would we? Would it, would crazy it, ass Derek. Would have stuck like Stan? I don't know, bro. We never. I don't. Know. I, we didn't even. And alter, that in an alternate episode. reality, it would have. They were. They, they were. They were called they, Derricks. They, they are. And Derricks. people are calling them Derricks right, right now. Right now, yeah. and all. Fucking Derricks on a different timeline. Yeah, Dirks, Dirks, yeah. the fucking Dirks. <laughs> that's what they call them. And not Dirk and the whiskey, but Dirks, <laughs> Dirks. Yeah, man. But shout out, shout out, shout out to X Men. Hey, just, man, just yo, hey, keep, bro, hey, just hey, be safe, use man. this. Use this to your advantage, right? You know what I'm saying? He is. Use this to your smart. advantage. He's a young dude. Oh, definitely. Use it to your advantage and be safe, like he said. Definitely. Right. Like you said, be safe. And for everybody else, man, like y'all gotta let this y'all gotta y'all gotta get over man, the beef shit, man. Yeah. It's, it's not really it's really not worth it. Like, we talked you know about that shit the other day about the beef and shit, the kings right. of this and that. Yeah. It's like what the fuck? It's not really worth it, man. Y'all are not uh you're not contributing to the culture or hip hop by doing this. Right. You're tainting it. You're scarring it. Right. These are stories we don't want to talk about. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're probably getting real right now. Hey, y'all better listen. Y'all better I'm listen. Just saying, to nobody Rufa, wants bro. to talk about this shit later right. on down the line. Like, damn. We, this motherfucker got so much talent. You know, 
people want to know where people's careers are going to go later. Right. You know what I'm saying? And because I feel like if Biggie and Pac was still Man, alive, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm. They yeah. would be watched as fuck right now. <laughs> then nobody you, would respect them because they would be old rappers. Do you, th- do you think Jay Z still here? <laughs> they they, they had they, they were be above shitting on Jay Z. They be shitting on Jay Z. Well, they shit on him, but where's he at? Still here. We still respect it. We respect. We and we would respect and Big we and Pac if they were still alive. TLC just came but, out with some shit. You know what that's saying? right. They did. So it's okay. like you can. Your career's never over. But I now. bet you, if you go in the comments, they'll be like, "Get this old ass bullshit out of yeah. here." <laughs> no, I'm saying your career's never over. You know what? You can listen if you're listening. and You're saying that you right. can listen to your age group type of music. Right, right. But let us still have our artists still produce for us. That's right. That's you right. know what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And. All this beef shit is only going to take away from what we could experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? If shit gets too real, right. is all I'm saying. Like Pac and Biggie. Right. Imagine what would have we we could have received. Right. Like our our age group, what we could have really fucking loved the music right. we could have fucking loved and, and and thought this is classic. This is it. The collaborations, so collaborations, yeah. uh, an uh, an eventually eventual fucking Tupac and Biggie reunion of being friends again. Who knows? Right. I mean, shit right. could have fucking. So many different things could have happened, and they could they could have made the South black they could have made the black Republican two, song before Jay Z and us exactly. You know what I'm saying? But and uh, shout shout out shout out shout out shout to, out to some real talk. You know what I'm saying? She got really, we just gave you some real she shit. Got really really. I'm just saying real. all this. You know what I'm saying all this beef shit needs to fucking end, yeah. and like trying to really take it to that next level. Come on, y'all need to kiss like uh like uh Grown David up. West did with uh, Tristan Thompson in the game. Hmm. Let's go ahead and kiss. No, no. Homo. Make up. Pause. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> fucking shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands yeah. and fucking go your separate way. If you don't like someone, right. don't fucking like them. Yeah. But just fucking let them do them right. and you fucking Mind do your you. business. Yeah, Mind your own you. fucking business. Because uh, when you start trying to take it to that level, you look more like a bitch to me. Right. Checked out some new music. We, we both over here rubbing our hands like, we did. interesting. Birdman. Mm. Birdman hand rub. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, we both listened to some new music. You listened a little bit more than I did, but we're only gonna talk about two albums. Yeah. Uh, I, went, I, went, I went harder in the paint than you. You. Yeah, you 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 wilding out with the album music right now, bro. Well, you fucking you you mentioned some names I should listen to. Right, right. And I so who'd you who you, li- who'd you listen to? All the names you gave me. What were the names you gave me? It was like Joey Fats. It was fucking Check. Um, Gunplay. Scissor. Scissor. Check. Vic check. Mensa. Well, we're, well, we're going to talk check. about. All checks. I only listen to Vic Mensa and Scissor. I haven't went for I'm going to check out Joey Fats and I'm going to check out Gunplay and all that a little bit later. Yeah, that's right, that shit went hard. But. That's the type of shit I need. Right. Gunplay, honestly. That we're, shit went that hard. We're right. going to talk about uh, Scissor's Gosh. album. Did you. How much did, did you really listen to Scissor's album? Scissor? Hell yeah. Like the full way through? Yes, sir. And you, you played it more than once? Mm-hmm. Not more than once. I couldn't. Okay. Because so, I try to hear them all. That's what I'm saying. It's so much, so well, much if, music and so much. Honestly, fun. if I would have left out, you know, two of them, all right, you probably you know, had time. I would have had time. I, I definitely got a lot. Play. I definitely got a lot of rotation yeah, on this yeah, album. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it was dope. Yeah, definitely. I loved it, and, it, and I love. I love. I love how she how she says shit. You know what I'm saying? The way she said it, uh, she she fucking uh, she kind of didn't hold back. She was no, she, was she different. didn't. She was over there <clears throat> saying shit like pussy, and yeah. you know, it was like she's a real nigga. Yeah, <laughs> she she down. Right. Is what I'm saying, she down to to she's talk a young girl too, and not be offended right. by words. Like she obviously uses those words, right. so she use. I guarantee you, in a conversation, you can use that shit in front of her, and she ain't fa- she ain't phased by it. She she'll fucking say it right back to you, right. but not mad like yeah. in a conversation. And you know what I was what, uh, what I right. heard a lot of in it. I heard of a lot of like. Woman empowerment in it, and yeah. not in a way oh, of like, not not in a way of like, you would hear uh, like fight for your right to be exactly. woman. It wasn't like that. It was mm-hmm. more like, yo, you. you doing your thing. I'm gonna be doing my fucking thing. So exactly. I'm not gonna be sitting here crying and waiting around exactly. for you and all this shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of that going on. Oh, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Of, yeah. Um, and, uh, and a lot of you know what I'm saying? Like, take me for who I am and how I am. Right. Like the whole. How I like where she said uh, she felt like she didn't have enough ass, right? The part, you know, what I'm saying it's like mm-hmm. a lot of women feel like that, right? Relate to that, right? Got the hook in, 
a lot of fucking females are like, I love this woman. Right. You know what I'm saying? And not just that, you know what I'm saying? She feels like that. Right. And for her to fucking put it out there and everything, it's like, right. she's putting her fucking heart on her sleeve. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Just putting it out there. And I love albums like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And her to put it. And her voice great. is, voice is off the chain, too. Hell yeah. She's got a good and the voice. way she did it, like, she kind of. She's TDE, man. Uh, yeah. Her, in a sense, I'm almost like, I want to say her wordplay, but I, I keep. Trying to go no, she, around it, yeah, like trying but to find got, something. But it's not like a to say it. it's not wordplay, but yeah. the way she says no, no, no. It. So it's, it's wordplay. She, it, she, it, well, yeah. she, she's she not like a it. typical R and B songstress. No, like she's all. like you. There's the hip hop like, influence yeah. is like flooded about all through it. Yeah. That's the only reason I was like, yo, we gotta, we gotta talk about the way she rhyme, the way she's rhyming while she's saying it should come back. Right. You know, she does the whole comeback. She does some little. She does some little trickery with the words. Yeah. So yeah, it is wordplay. She's dope. I will, I will label it that. I was trying to find a different way to say it for right. this R and B. Right. You don't use wordplay. Well, no, R&B. she's a good writer. That's I think what I'm saying. I think she's written songs for Beyonce. She's possibly. I kind of. I almost want to say she's a pioneer for like, like the new? this day and age, right. the new new. Well, I mean, like the- where she's using wordplay in R and B. Right. Like you don't see a lot of wordplay. There's some play. people out there that's that's got the wordplay though. Well, the read between the lines type wordplay is what she. Well, no, she has a lot of read, she has a lot of read between. That's the what I'm lines saying. She's given that. Yeah. TDE. Yeah. Hence the TDE. I guess. Hanging around fucking like, Kendrick Lamar. She, yeah. God damn it. She probably she probably picked up a thing or two. <laughs> right. And if she didn't, and she got that on her own, that's why she's with him. What did you, know you what, what did you think about the uh, pussy love. track with uh with Kendrick? <laughs> love it, dude. That's a fire ass track. Fucking dope. Yeah, just the kind of single. If if it isn't, it should be. It is, but they probably won't be saying pussy as much as they do. Well, you know of course. Yeah. Well, you know. But you know, that's, that's going to no, be like a, a push on our album. Definitely. It will say pussy as much. Not on the radio, obviously, right. but when you get the YouTube video, you're right. going to get it all. Yeah. Uncut, raw. Yeah. Doves in the Wind is the song, y'all. Yeah. Go look it up. Is. That's Th- what it is. Doves Thank us later. Yeah. If don't listen to anything, listen to that song. Shit. Yeah. Go listen to that, and after you're done listening to that, Go listen to the whole album from front to end because that's just dope. I love how she ended it with her mom and like throughout right. the thing she had, you know, her the mom giving her talking, game. giving yeah. her game, and then saying what she thought the whole album meant to her. And, you know, fucking dope. Like, yeah, right I mean, some some, I some of the 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 uh, ideas in it is is very. I don't want to say like, I want to say immature. Immature is not the right word, but. Nah. Definitely young. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say mature because because right. I don't deal with very, that kind of shit in my day to day life yeah, at this not point. Yeah, I don't right. relate to that like right, right, that right, right. she was. But I can see how everybody else that is younger yeah. might relate to that. When you I was that saying? age, I could see you know how people could relate to that. You know what I'm saying? We're that age. You know, it's like, and I kind of I appreciate how she did it because it's, right. it's not for us. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She ain't making that music for us. She's doing no. it for her age. She's doing it for her, yeah, her, her, yeah, her, her peers. peers. But it's dope ass album, man. Gotta go check it out. I give it. I give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, yeah, I give it nine out of ten. I was uh, um eight and a half, nine, nine level myself. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Way up. You know, what? and you know, I would go with the nine because of the the wordplay. It's like right. like she's breaking barriers in this day and age in, in R and B. Right, like you don't see. I'm like, gonna play that album more. Like that's gonna oh, like sit yes. with me a little bit longer that's, than oh. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not the yet. I, I have came back to a few tracks. I haven't heard the whole thing over and over right, right. back to back. Like heard it from the beginning. To end. But because it's so much music, Apple Music, bro, it's no way to keep up with all that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, so while I was working and shit, I right. was yeah. jamming some of that right, shit. Yeah. So yeah. it's good. It's good music for writing. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Love the beats too. Yeah, it was, some, it was some good, really good production. Yes. Also. Shout out to SZA. Shout out to SZA, and you know what? Keep doing what you do because what you're doing is, I would say, the future. I'm saying that right now. It's the future of R&B. For if she's listening to this, she's pro- she's probably going. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Th- it's definitely going to be the future of R&B, hip hop, yeah. fem- like hey. possibly for the dudes too, because hey. the dudes need to step their game yeah. up with listen, that in between. I'm gonna go. Ahead, I'm about to go ahead and shoot my shot. Hey, it says if you're listening, hey, holla at me. Hit me in the DMs, baby. <laughs> Hit me in the DMs. I treat you right. You know <laughs> you what I'm saying? You're about to catch hell. I'm shooting bro. my shot. Catching hell. Hey, I'm bro. shooting my shot, no. baby. What I would I'm say, Steph Curry. Hey, what I would say from the is half that, point line. Hey, what I would say is that. Forget about what he said, and you know what I'm saying. Just keep doing what you do, right. and if you want to do an interview with us, that'd be fucking dope. I got a girl says but she don't have to know. That's what I'm saying. You in trouble, bro? No, I know. Uh, she, she don't have to. Know. Oh, she don't listen to this. You're in trouble, bro. You done? Let's get on it. Let's one and done. Let's let's get on to another album, bro. Vic Mensa came out. Just because LeBron lost doesn't mean you need to lose. Too, hey, bro. I'm shooting my uh, shot. I just had to right. go low. I had to, I had to. Uh. 
Vic Mensa came Sorry, out with his, his little EP, his little four track EP, uh, called the Manuscript. You know what I'm saying? Which I think is probably kind of a playoff of the blueprint. You know, he is signed to Jay Z, Rock Nation, Rock Nation. Yes, sir. Uh, he hasn't really hit his stride just yet. Uh, he's uh, he's still kind of going through the process of uh, figuring himself out. I think. Yeah, yeah. Vic Mensa, Vic Mensa in the beginning is definitely not Vic Mensa now. They're two completely different people at this point. Uh, but I also understand Vic Mensa is aware that you know he's reaching a certain type of status, certain type of plateau. So he's kind of got to spread his spread his wings a little bit further. And um, but I would like. To, I mean, I heard EP numerous times, but I would like to get your. Yeah, you heard it numerous times? Yeah. I only heard it once. You only heard, I only heard it once? I heard it once. Even though it's four, I only heard it once. Like I said, I was hearing other albums too, right, trying, to, right, right. trying to get them all. Right. Thinking that we might talk about them all. Right. So this is this is, this is is Sharif's one listen review. <laughs> no, I really I really liked it too. I right. definitely liked it. I definitely, I, I'm just going to go off top of me and say I give it between an eight to eight and a half. Eight, eight and a half. Yeah, yeah. I liked it that much. It was yeah. for four tracks. You know what I'm saying? He I'm, gave, I can only imagine what he'd give me if he gave me a lot, like a whole nine. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a, it's seven to nine. That's what Vic, people are doing these days. So seven to nine. Yeah. He would have gave me that, or seven to 11. Right. People actually go to like to 11 these right, days. Right, right. But, you know. Well, some of these are actually considered mixtapes, which is weird. But, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Was it, to me, they're albums. They're but, albums, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're putting your heart into it. Yeah. It may not be just like the yeah, label. It's all original yeah, music. It's all you know original. what I'm saying? It's yeah, so, albums. Like, yeah. People with this old oh, mixtape. These days, mixtapes ain't mixtapes anymore. Mixtapes had a DJ yelling over it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got a DJ yelling DJ, over DJs it. DJs was trying to rape these rape these rappers' pockets, and they started making they started making albums. And they didn't need mixtapes. They, yeah. they didn't need them. They didn't need them anymore. It's like we don't. That's why. That's a whole other topic, bro. Right. Like, it is. That is a whole other end topic. Of DJs on right. type shit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. there's still a few that hold on. But now they just <laughs> yeah. make their beat type shit, and they right. get rappers to rap on them, and they put shit like DJ Ill Will type shit. Right. You know what right. Right. Or Mike Will made it. Yeah, right, right, no, right. not DJ Will, but yeah. Mike He's a Will producer, made it. though. Yeah. Producer, yeah. but that's kind of like where DJs kind of have ventured into just right being producers. Well, there's my as far as my my, I, I think I would probably give it like a seven and a half. Seven and a half. Yeah, you because no, yeah, because I know Vic Mensa from before, and this See, decent no. is decent, and uh, so I he had more to offer before. Uh, yeah, I haven't. I, don't I mean, my favorite, old shit. my favorite track on this shit was probably the uh, "Oh My Goodness" track with Pusha T. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, my favorite too. Yeah, because that was and with Pharrell on the hook. That was like a like vintage like rap song. That's what got you know him what I'm in saying? the eights for me, right? <laughs> That's what got him in the eights. That Pusha T song, man. That Pusha right. T was. Fucking you know what? Yeah, yeah, that Pusha T song does go up there. That pushes you up there. Oh, uh, it pushes it to me. That's my, what gave it the boost. My favorite line that did more. That. My favorite line in the whole in that whole track is when he was when he said uh uh Brazilian model she mean mugging like Frida Kahlo. That was one of my favorite lines because if y'all know who Frida Kahlo is, go go Google her right now. <laughs> okay. Frida. Just and then when you Google her, you know, go go through some of her images, not the ones where she's smiling. Okay? Just where she's just sitting there with the regular face. She's a painter. I know who Frida Kahlo Frida. is. Frida, oh yeah. yeah. They made a movie. Did they? Didn't they? I could have sworn they made a movie about her. Oh, shit. They probably did. I didn't know. I could have sworn they did. Yeah. Um, I guess I don't know that much about her. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, she's a, she's a legend. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's, a, she's older. Yeah, right. I think. A lot of people don't know who that is, though. A lot of people that ain't cultured. You know what I'm saying? Don't know who Frida Kahlo is. But go look her up. She's got the thick eyebrows. So when he says, I got a Brazilian model, she mean mugging like Frida Kahlo. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I get it. Like, the picture was painted. I was like, oh, okay. He got a... He got a he got a mean, ch- like yeah, yeah, mean, like yeah, mean mugging, That's bad, like mean mugging, right? Yeah, uh, but that was that was a hot ass track, man. I hope that gets some some spins out there. You know what I'm saying? So but definitely, man. man shout yeah. out to Push T, man. Still, out, still, man, out here Push Push T. You sound like, like, sound like, you, sound like one a- of like my favorite artists, right? These days, still, like it, he's one of those. Like we said, we we were talking about it one day. Like he's one of those artists that when he says something. I want to hear it. I want to know what he's going to say. Yeah, yeah, me too. I stop and I'm listening. I stop, I'm listening. Exactly. Yeah, he's right. one of those artists. Yeah. I'm going to always listen. He's a new Jadakiss. And if Malice came out and said something, I fucking listen to that shit too. You know what? No, I, I don't know if I would because Malice, he left us all dirty out here. So he, he, he changed his name to No Malice. You know what I'm saying? He's he's all about living his life right, which I'm not knocking. I, you get it. You change, you change your life, man. But he just left us out here, bro. He left us hanging. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He left us out here, man. But no, if he, that's why I said malice. I didn't say no malice. I right. said if malice came out <laughs> with something, 
Yeah. I'd fucking want to hear what Malice would say, but no Malice, no. no. So you get, no, thank you. you. <laughs> no, thank you. So you give Big Minta uh, an eight. An eight. I'll right, give okay. it an eight. You I said eight, eight, eight to eight and a half, but I'll say eight, because yeah. that's what got it to the eight. I'm firm with my seven and a half. There's other, there's other exactly. shots from Malice pretty I'm nice. Firm. Yeah, I just feel like his, his bars were better at a certain point, and I feel like they kind of, you know, and maybe these were throwaway tracks from his album. It took me back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It does, it does sound like a, like a rap. Like yeah, a rap, like, like, he, like he got people in, like you can hear, you can hear the fact that, that, uh, like he's influenced by Jay Z. Like yeah, I can, oh, you can yeah, hear you can that, that in the yeah, rhymes, definitely. you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I don't think he originally started out that way, but I think that when he got signed to Jay Z, he was like, let me. Inspired a little bit. Yeah, let me, let me, let me figure out what Jay Z did, you know? What I just saying? figure out what Jay Z did. He was like, maybe I need to, I need to, I can. I can learn something. You right. know what I'm saying, but te- kind of you can tell he inspired by him. If you listen to his Science old, me, his old shit and his shit now, you could tell he listens to more Jay Z now. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Science kind of like you gotta, you gotta know the boss. Yeah, you know what you I'm gotta saying. Know, you gotta know who you're working for. Yeah, and he probably, he probably has done that. He probably listened to I, a lot more Jay Z since then. I don't know if Vic Mensa is gonna be on the level of J Cole. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his when I, mean, I think when his debut say, album right? comes out. I, honestly, if you come up with an album, I'll probably end up giving it less because I'll have more of disappointment okay. throughout it, possibly. Nah, I think it's going to be, I think, I think, I think his album's going to be fire. Now, as much as I think this was like okay, I think his album's going to be fire. See, we have the opposite thing. I gave this one good, but I'm thinking he did that. He gave me, I got good the, because it was so little, maybe. There's no reason it, sh- it should be trash if you got. It shouldn't be. Kanye back there, you got Jay Z back there. Be. You got. That whole I'll probably still give monster it. back there, you can't. It cannot so if you, be trash. If you think you're, you're talking you about, think you'll rise your your shit for a whole album. Oh hell yeah! So then, if you think you'll rise my shit, that means I'll probably be. That's going to be his, his magnum. I'll opus. probably be giving him a, mi- a nine or a nine and a half. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's what I'm probably giving. Him. He's got some catchy shit. The other shit that he had last a couple years was a year or two ago. Uh, you probably never heard it. I probably did. And I just uh, didn't really don't remember. Shit. It was the one he had with Kanye. Smoke oh, you mad, that. huh? I'll play it for oh, you. Oh, hell yeah. I got no, that. you heard it. That. That's I a fire ass that. track. So he has potential. That, you know what I'm saying? It just, I it just didn't, that was Vic Men- okay, it okay. didn't catch like it was supposed to. Like it caught, but it didn't really reach the height that it should have. If it caught me, it caught more than, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you say it came across your radar, then it, it, then it, then well, it was out there? It was a hot song. It should have been out there because yeah. you, you know how it was. Okay, well, if it did, if it did, Apple Music. Okay, so if it did, oh, yeah, you're right. If it did reach your, maybe, maybe, maybe what I'm, I just didn't feel like it reached, it re- that reached me. the height that it should have. It possibly should have went And maybe I, there was something I'm not seeing. Maybe it did reach no, the height. No, it probably should have went more. Right. But it just happened to reach me, but it needed to reach someone that doesn't even listen to hip hop. Right. Or something. You know what right. I'm saying? It just, me, I listen to hip hop and I just, I came across it and I was like, oh shit, this shit is dope. I don't even remember Ooh. how I came across it, honestly. Yeah, that shit. I really don't remember how I came across you, it. Man, huh? But I had it. You, you gotta come, I mean, you're gonna come across it. It was in my downloads yeah. today, so I don't know how I came across it. You, you're not gonna, you're not gonna not hear about a Jay-Z artist. If he's trying to push him, you're not, you're, you're not, you're, you're, they're gonna come across your, your shit at some point. You know what, for all I know, you told me about that song. Probably and I did. fucking looked I probably it up played and it. And I was like, like "Oh, this is." You shazammed it, and you was like, "This is fire. I need this." Urell has all the download. <laughs> you know what? You do have. Urell is the ox court lord. I get Not it. anymore. Yeah. Apple Music is. Uh, I'm, I'm You've lost lord, your baby. touch. Apparently, listen, because listen. I have Playboy listened to Gunplay listen, already. I've been t- listen, I listen to for Gunplay people that's been listening. For people that's been listening, I've been talking about Playboy Cardi and what he's been. I've been talking about this Magnolia song for a while. He's just now getting on TV with his song. It's making it. It's on the Sprite commercial. It was on a Sprint commercial. All right, listen, I was already the, the on Yachty it. thing. Yeah, yeah. Yachty made Sprite, so yeah. yeah. Black Panther. Man, hold up. The new teaser trailer came out. Loved it. Oh my goodness. Niggas are rejoicing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, straight up. It's fucking it, it, the way that the way it was right. put together, bro. It was like yeah. they put it almost like like. Being the whole, they didn't almost. They put the whole being in Africa effect in it, right? Type shit, you right. know what I'm saying? With like tribal shit, right. masks, everything. Fucking dope how they put that shit incorporated it into the whole Marvel universe, right? I can't wait to see this shit. Oh, this is gonna be fire! It's gonna. Oh, I, yeah. I honestly believe that it's gonna do over a billion dollars. Oh, I know it will. You know what I'm saying? I, I honestly know believe it will. Yeah. You know because this shit is more than a movie, right? It's more well, first off, you're gonna you're gonna have the big Marvel audience that's gonna come yeah, to well, it. Well, off top, 
But you're gonna have a very, very, very huge black audience that's gonna go watch it. That that's probably don't I even said, fuck with Marvel. That's why I said more than. Marvel. And right now we're like we're like we're like in full on support meth mode right now, especially because we get to see something that's not like, like, you know, like this old like uh, like another twelve years of slave. Like you don't want to see no more fucking slave stories. All right, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to see any more slave stories. It's like the whole Luke Cage uh, effect, but on a fucking fucking theater movie. Right, 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 right. And it's a kind of another aspect of black where you talk, where you kind of mix it in like, I don't want to say sci-fi, but you know what I'm saying? You kind of mix it in like, you Super, know. It's superhero. It's shit. superhero, but you know. So they have the the machine. Right, right, right. Shit, it's all that shit going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and apparently Black Panther is supposed to have more money than Bruce Wayne. I wouldn't doubt it. Right. Yeah, he's richer than Bruce Wayne. It's probably Wayne. fucking... Uh, Somebody did the math on Reddit Prince one day. Ha- Akeem's fucking... Uh, <laughs> co- it's like his cousin and shit. Oh my God, shit. you got to see the From fucking... From Zamunda. You got to oh, fucking... cousin, bro. Listen, when that trailer came... When that fucking trailer came out, Twitter... Black Twitter went on like a fucking rampage. Did they go was, there? They it was there? so fucking funny, bro. Like the shit that I seen. But all in all, man... I'm happy to see all these people in the fucking movie that um these black actors like you got Michael B. Jordan in it. You oh, got yeah. you got uh the guy from Get Out. I don't know his name by heart yet. I can't remember either. He's in it. You yeah. got uh Angela Bassett. Yes. Uh Forrest Whitaker. Mm-hmm. Uh Chadwick Bo- Bozeman. Yeah. Um You got Lupita. <laughs> Lupita. Let me tell you something. This that pops up in this fucking movie, dog. I'm just gonna, I'm just like, dog, fuck everybody, dog. I'm just gonna turn racist. I'm just gonna turn full on racist, and I'm just gonna walk around with, I'm gonna grow my hair out to a fro. I'm never gonna cut it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at that. Who's who's that? Oh, he's in his shit. Yeah. Holy fuck, Dijamon. Who who? T- Y'all don't know this dude. This dude is like the African dude. Hold on, but you know what? It says that he's Black Panther, so I'm thinking he does some of the right. action sequences. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this is this what is this what is this you're looking at? It's, it's Black Panther on Google. Like it has a little, maybe it's yeah. Not you gotta look right. somewhere else. But uh, you gotta look somewhere else. Yeah, you gotta look somewhere else to go look at the. the but this this movie like is it looks like it's gonna be amazing. You know what I'm saying? And there uh, we go. Yeah, that's who, who's, it. Who's that's it. it. So, yeah, Lupita. See, yeah, you got Lupita. You gotta you gotta hit that. Okay, what was I say? We got Michonne. We got Denai Guerrero. That's the, that's the guy I'm talking about. Michonne, you know what I'm saying, from The Walking Dead. Oh, she's that's Michonne? There. Yeah. Holy fuck, Michonne I didn't from know. from The Walking Dead. She's the one that's using that, like, blade type shit. Oh, going shit. Off and shit, bro. Like, I thought I recognized. I was like, where do I know her ass from? That's Michonne. Yes, sir. You got Andy Serkis. And Martin Freeman. Those are the names that. Oh, look at that. Felicia Rashad, what the fuck? Felicia Rashad, bro. <laughs> I didn't even know she was gonna be in this. What? <laughs> about to be black as fuck. <laughs> and <laughs> calling the comeback. <laughs> I've been here for years. Look, look, look. Hold up. And then on top of that, you got the guy who directed Creed. That, that new black director. He's directing well, it. Well, that's why Michael B. Jordan is like, he's like, I need you in this. Right. You're gonna be in this. Now, I don't know the guy who directed Creed with Michael B. Jordan also directed. It's like, uh, the first movie was Fruitvale Station. Yeah, yeah. Fruitvale Station, which was kind of like a black story, you know, like a true story that happened or whatever. And then they go into Creed and they're like, I think originally it was going to be the woman that directed Selma that was going to direct this movie. Yeah. She, it was a black woman, but I guess she kind of fell out of it for whatever reasons. And now you got the guy from Creed directing it. So you got, you got <clears throat> Michael B. Jordan coming off of Fantastic Four and saying, I'm going to be with the legit Marvel. Right. Full blown Marvel movie. Hey, this movie like, going to be fire, y'all. Cause you know, Fantastic right. Four went, when it was like a thumbs down. All right. So he worked his way back into the Marvel scene. Oh, man. Fantastic Four got ate the fuck up. Man. Ate the fuck up. Yeah. I haven't seen it, man, because I, I just, I didn't want to see it, to be honest with you. I but, seen it. I seen it. You know, I thought it could, it, it could have been good if there was things that it didn't, that it, it didn't do. Like, there were a few things I was like, man, y'all fucking, y'all, y'all fucking didn't do it right or the, something. The fucking black Twitter memes that came out was fucking hilarious. <laughs> so they were on my level thinking about right, it. Right, it was yeah. it was all of that going on. I wasn't alone. I'm you know what I'm saying? Prince Hakeem. Yeah, all of that was, was, was happening. You know what I'm saying? We're semi. Right. Uh so shout out shout out shout out to Marvel. You know uh, what I'm trying to think I'm trying to think of you probably know because you got the bars, bro. Fabulous line where he said something about semi coming to America. Oh. 
You remember that? He shit? said, I keep a semi by the side, like coming. What did he say? He said, he said I keep a semi on the side, like coming come to, to me. Something like that. Like, All right. Hey, hey, hey when I thought fabulous I was with like, the bars. I love. Right. That was heart, that. Uh, y'all know who. Mm-hmm. Keeping keep it, it gangster. gangster. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out to Fab. Check that out. Yeah, man. So, um, this is going to be pretty interesting just, to, just for black people as a whole. I think this is going to do numbers. And I think this is gonna open up the doors for more oh, yeah. stories to be told for black people on TV screens. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee there'll be a Black Panther too. Oh, they're gonna have like a yeah. they're gonna have a trilogy. Oh yeah, they'd have to. You, know you, would, you would hope they did everything right, bro. Even like the music, the music was, I think oh, run run the uh, run the jewels. Yeah, that little music on the on the, yeah, they, they did everything right, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That shit was fucking fire, right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and that's not even like a full blown trailer yet. No, it was a teaser teaser and the so teaser, teaser is mind blown already so you can only imagine because right. they're, they're trying to make this great right because before Civil War and all that shit people, a lot of people were like who's Black Panther they didn't right. know Black Panther like they're going by the movies they're not comic right. heads so they don't know who Black Panther is they brought that into it and their people are like oh shit this is dope who is this right. you, own movie Go you know who I gotta give props to I gotta give props to, I gotta give props to Marvel hell yeah for uh, allowing black people to make a black superhero movie even though the story's already there and all that yeah. to allow black people to come in and be like yo we're gonna let y'all run this yeah, you know these, what I'm saying you can feel the authenticity, uh, authenticity and even though you oh, yeah. ha- I haven't seen much of the teaser I can feel it I'm like alright this feels like some nigga shit you know what I'm saying <laughs> made for us <laughs> right, right. No, that's what I'm saying that's how, feel. that's how I felt about Luke Cage I was yeah. I was so surprised cause I watched D- Daredevil and then I watched Jessica Jones. And then and I was like, they're, like, oh, they're going to whitewash the fuck out of Luke Cage. And then I got Luke Cage and I was like, holy fuck, this is a nigga show. You know what I'm saying? To the core. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting all that. Oh, you know Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? Movie. It's not going to be as bad as Luke Cage, as Hood. Right. It's not hey, in, who knows? It's not in the hood. Listen, they might. They it's might not in, in the hood. It's bro. not in the hood, but they might incorporate. I'm telling you, man. If you, if Luke you, Cage gonna make a I'm, telling, I'm telling you, that no, if Luke Cage makes a guest appearance, it's gonna. I gotta be in this dog. movie. Let me tell you something. Everybody you something. else in it. Let me tell you something. The funniest thing that I like, I would love to be in a the movie theater. Nothing against any other race, yeah, but I would love to be in a movie theater yeah. with a bunch of black people. Yeah, there's yeah. Minute Maid Fruit Punch. <laughs> <laughs> There's Hennessy. Hennessy. There's even a little bit of weed smoke, even though I don't smoke Why weed. Why did you cause me to open right. up my Hennessy? Again? And there's and there's and there's a, a, a it's like a family watching a movie at the same time, and I just want to hear the responses of the black people in the audience when this shit goes down. Whenever somebody does some shit, I want to hear somebody goes. I'm gonna smoke some weed. Whoop too. his ass, King! I want to hear that. That's that. Oh. I cannot gonna, wait. Hey, you know this shit's gonna happen. Yeah, I know. That's why it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be so funny. But, you have to go. You right. have to go to the theater right. when it first comes out, right? To catch that, just know y'all. Y'all gonna y'all gonna. This is what y'all gonna see the, the premieres and, and all that shit is when people are gonna be most live <laughs> because those are the people <laughs> fanatics, people who are fucking stands, right? Right. You know, people who fucking love right. this shit to the core. So when they see it, they're gonna fucking react. You. That's when you gotta go. There, there's some that. people that are like that. There's some, there's some people I hear that saying it's a little too extreme. Because in, in in the movie poster, he's sitting on the, on his throne the same way that U. E. P. Newton was sitting on the chair, Come and you know on. he's the Black Panther guy. Come on, I feel like that was dope that they mixed that in together. They yeah. mixed somebody from the Black Panther, you know, the movement or whatever. But there's people that are saying this is too extreme. He's, he's too king. black. He's a fucking king. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be on the throne? I think they're just upset because black people are so excited. You know what I'm people, saying? I think they're nitpicking a little too much too. They do nitpick shit it's, too much. It's it's very similar, obviously. Yeah, but there was some people that hated Luke Cage today. It was like it's just too fucking black. He's a fucking king. Yeah. If you put him on the throne, you're gonna fucking start saying, "Oh, they're trying to be like this because he's Black Panther." And right. People nitpick too much. Stop reading. Trying to stop trying to read in between the lines when there are no in between the lines. Yeah. And if there are, who cares? Right. You know what I'm saying? There, uh, yeah, damn. Let us have our shit, man. Exactly. It's, you know what I'm it's saying? It's not a fucking man. You think it's bad now? Well, you think it's bad now? Wait till wait till wait till the motherfucking the Mexicans get in here. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, I remember you saying right. Like when it's that on the low brink. Rider, low rider shit came. That's where it now, starts. Now, now they have that. No, they have a TV show now. That's what like I'm saying. Queen of the South. That's what I'm saying, All about bro. Like cartel border right and shit. I, have, like, have you watched that show? I, I didn't. I saw, I was seeing. I part seen of people that watching, and I'm like, "Is this a good show or not?" Or what? I was watching part of it. It looks dope as fuck. Right. Like what I saw, it was dope because you know, what I'm saying I was at my girl's mom's right. house and shit, and we were, she was watching it. So 
And I was like, well, she, she was trying to watch the Fear of the Walking Dead, and I was like, I haven't seen this yet. Now I'm going to turn it off. Yeah. So she changed the channel. Listen. Black people are going to watch it. They, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I was like, I couldn't watch it. And she was like, you don't want to watch it? I was like, ah, no, not yet. So she changed it, and she went to that. And shit, from what I saw, I didn't see it from the beginning, but that shit was fucking dope. You so. were enthralled. Yeah. And I was also thinking immediately. <laughs> the vocabulary, baby. I'd already thought this, but when I was watching it, I was thinking, I was like, Yarell was right. Right. I you, told you, you bro. You was right. Listen, there's a black renaissance going on with like film and TV right now, which I fucking love. Next up. Next up. Hey. Batter up. Hey. Batter up. Hey. Mexicano. Brown Latino. America. Brown America is coming. Just Latino in a whole, probably. But right. even, I don't know. Latin America is coming, baby. You think it's Latin America or is it more Mexican shit coming? Because Mexican, there's there two different stories. It, there kind of is. Because I mean, there listen, is. The Mexicans are taking the fucking the 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 low end, the low right. blows right now. It's not like it's not Cubans, Puerto Ricans, and all that shit right now. It's kind of more Mexican based. All right. this shit. I don't know. I'm not saying nothing against other Latinos because they're catching racism too. Right, right. But right. I'm just saying, right now it almost feels like it's, it's more of the Mexican, it's more Mexican, and the cartel shit. Right. A lot more people are interested in right. shit. You know. They had the El Chapo shit happening. Right, right, right. And people were like, oh, a lot of stories there. This? And, you know, people are kind of intrigued by right. violence. Let's tell our and, story and in America. stories of it and, like, what's happening. Right. And it's and this people is, are kind of putting it out there. That's what I'm saying. And, and, and you have black people going through that renaissance where everything's kind of booming right now. And, yeah, I'm telling y'all, like, it's... It's coming next. It's you know what I'm saying? It's, you even it's got the Indian people right now that are telling yes. the story. You got, oh. you got. What's the chick? What's the chick's name? She had her own show, Mindy, Mindy Project. Yeah, the Mindy Project. Yeah. And then you had, yeah. um, you got Aziz with his show yes. on yeah. Netflix. It's what. It's and what, they're keeping it authentic. It's, well, it's, not. I don't say Mindy. Mindy is more just kind of like for everybody. Yeah. But Aziz I is definitely keeping it authentic, authentic yeah. to to his heritage. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Definitely. And well, yeah, and it, it sometimes. And what's bad about it is what it it takes you to go through so much low time or a lot of low time right. to get to be able to get that exposure and that right. light. You need people to break down those about. doors though. Yeah. You know oh, definitely. We broke down the, we broke down the doors in, in the 90s when we was giving you movies yeah. like you like suffer first. Belly, belly yeah. and Baby Boy. Yeah. All right. We broke down the doors. You know what I'm saying? We bro- Baby Boy broke down the doors for Black Panther to exist. All right. Just saying. Can't hurt it here first. <laughs> no. But real shit is like, oh, that's some real shit too. Right. No, I'm not, no, but it's like you got you got to go through you got to endure some tough times right. to 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 actually get your shit out there eventually right. because after you go through the struggle, you you go through so much of it that you force your way into the limelight. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happened to you know, Black America right. and now Latin America. So it's next. Kind of, yeah. It's Listen, nice. I'm telling you that Lowrider movie is the first to kick off. It starts with the hood. It starts with the hood classics. Yep. It always starts with the hood classics and then it just evolves. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We had all the hood classics that when they went up against Rotten Tomatoes, it was like, this is a 23%. This is 23% on poetic justice. And it's like, listen, we know the actor wasn't great, but this is what we had. This is our black cinema. You know what I'm trying to say? Let's just what we, we support it. We relate it to. We relate to. You, you know may not relate to it. Right. You watch this and look at it from the outside. Right, right. We're actually looking at it from the inside. Right. We actually relate to it. We understand right. it. Hey, we go through the struggle. Y'all ain't fucking pulled over. We take for no fucking over. reason. Or you ain't fucking. You know, it's, yeah. there's a lot of shit that happens. Listen, there was there was a, there was a the show. Right color. <laughs> there was a show that I was watching, and um, I forget what it was. But there was a, a black mother in the show, and she had like a scene where she was like in a bedroom, she was talking. And I'm gonna tell you this little subtle thing that happened in the show that made me go, "Holy shit, this is some black shit." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and 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 this type of scene, this type of dialogue that she was saying, normally in a, in a um in like a white show, it'd be like a woman sitting there having a drink or she's smoking a cigarette. Yeah. While she's having this type of dialogue, right? In this show, this black woman was lotioning her hands. All right, and I was thinking, I was like, "Fuck," you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some black ass shit. How real is this? She just got a shower. She got something she got to say. She gonna lotion up her hands, make sure that she her black don't crack. You know what I'm saying? But see, that's not even that's not only those black. little those little subtle nuances. You know, I know, no, I know no, you no, do. No, 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 I'm no, saying no, though, those no. those subtle nuances is what makes all of us different. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so I'm saying it like keeps I, us young. I can relate to yeah, I know I can relate to some sh- scenes and shit like that. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. Those little small things, man. Little, little things, things that 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 someone else might not do. Right. That we're like, I do that. Right. It's a part of why how do you, I grew why up. Why do people barely use lotion, man? <laughs> and they don't realize just because they don't see it, it's cracking. Yeah. You got, you're ashy, man. Ashy. Yeah. Everyone ashes. Everybody ashes. Everyone does. Everybody like, has dry that skin. That is a reality. <laughs> is Everyone a reality. thinks like, no, nah, I don't see it. It's there. Even you light-skinned people. Yeah. Not there. I'm light. You know what I'm saying? So I, but I'm not light enough to where I don't see it. I see it. Right, right, time, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Give, give me a good tan. Right, I'm, right. I'm, I'm see it. Right, right. But I'm like, so I, and I, and seeing it or not seeing it, I just do it because Moisturize. You got to keep your shit right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Taking those, uh, my white friends listening. You got to keep it right. If, yeah. if, 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 if you ain't, if you ain't putting that lotion Listen, on, you're going to dry up. Put that lotion on, you can't, your skin going to be, your skin going to be right in 20 years. You're going to look Remember like a raisin. <laughs> a raisin, you're going to dry out. Yeah, man. <laughs> on that note, man, we about to Pruning get about here. Shit. No, no. We got to get, we about to get about of here, man. No. You got anything else you want to, you want to kick out of here before we dip out, man? Cause we, we run it, we run it kind of oh, late. Man. Yeah, we are running late. Yeah. And if you've made it this far, I just want you to, 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 to wish me a happy fucking birthday because it's my birthday in four days. Oh, yeah, days. yeah. That's right. We got to go watch it. We got to go watch the Tupac movie. Oh, and it's Tupac's birthday in four days, too. No, the movie comes out this week. And it comes out on our birthday. Yes. What day is that? that? Friday? The 16th. Uh, Friday, I believe. Yeah. I think that is. I think that is. I think that's Friday. I think it is Friday. Yeah. We should go check that out, bro. Yeah, that's for Friday. You ain't fucking lying. We should go check it out. We'll give y'all, we'll give y'all a, a first hand review of the new Tupac movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From, buddy. A, from a Tupac head. And they, uh, and I'll definitely let you know how I feel about it. Right, yeah. So shout out to y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, uh, YouTube, podcasts, everywhere that we got. You can listen to podcasts. We didn't tell them that earlier. Right. We did. We kind of did a little bit, but um, yeah. Make sure you support us too. On uh, I'm gonna say go ahead and support us on Patreon because we've been putting a link in there. We haven't been really talking about it for a while. We haven't. Go ahead, man. Give us a dollar on Patreon. Uh, shrimpmag.com slash Patreon. Yeah. Traumatic.com slash Patreon. Slash get straight to the link. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Support us. Help us grow, man. Help us get to where you want us to be. Because and let's know, tell these black and brown them, stories. Definitely. <laughs> we want to give them to you. You know what I'm saying? We want to hit you with the real shit, man. Right, right. Truth be told. Right. Yeah. Hence that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we we, we definitely uh, we appreciate you if you heard us to the end. And we appreciate you, all the trillions. Because without y'all, where would we be? That's right. Saying. Appreciate so. y'all. So we out this thing. No, I'm saying. No, I'm talking about. Deuces. <laughs> Happy one year, motherfuckers. One year anniversary, bitches. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Truth Be Told podcast. Be sure to subscribe and log on to Chillmatic.com for the latest in underground music, film, fashion, and more. 